Bullworm Industries. Popular name on Earth 3. One very familiar to anyone who works in construction and beyond. One of the primary industry companies involved with selling heavy machinery, which naturally transitioned into making mechs during the war. Not just this war, though, even the War of 17. They'd always been one to provide their wares and compete with many competitors worldwide and beyond. They are no corpro state. They are no heavy industrial power. But on Earth 3, you might as well consider them one. Constantly involved with all construction efforts and urban expansion, they are the masters of building. At least, that's their own self-admission. In reality, they're corner cutting, hogs that end up eating from the trough of the UEA in order to get as much budget they can. They do whatever they need to do to stay and compete with the foreign influence of Earth-9 and Earth-12. And now, these dogs have come to you. They've always come to you when they've needed to cut something. Whether it was before, back before the war, when they were attempting to do something, anything, in order to lower the cost of constructions. When the beetle mech was cut and replaced with the ladybug. When all other mechs they released were eventually scrapped, taken from different construction companies, and reapplied for military uses. And they've yet to have enough. Despite your slash budget, they've come to you now, amidst mourning, and they demand your tribute. Moon sort of rubs her hand on her head as she sort of looks directly at the assembled data here. And she just sort of just checks back and forth. Legally, they have precedent, though. We do not own the lads. I mean, same with any of the UEA stuff. And if they start figuring that out and dragging it out, we're seriously in deep shit until we can get some money to buy it. Hmm. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, I might be tempted to acquiesce, but I am under no, I am in no mood to do so at this particular moment. Not to mention, I feel like we have not explored all of our options. A plan A is hardly a plan A if there is nothing else to back it up if we do not wish to take it. Pops sort of is just kind of staring forward, looking at a data tablet, sort of flipping around some stuff. And he kind of, uh, well, if we got options, I want to take them. Any plans? Hmm. He, there's a bit of a silence for a moment. And um, a visual pops up at the center. And with an almost um, shrilly cheer, uh, a voice calls out. Uh, sort of materializing a visual over this, installed directly in a ComCon assistant known as Arca Girl appears in front. All processing data put towards planning. I have new info. Who unmuted her? It certainly I, wasn't me. I didn't do it. I was unmuted after the recent UI update that was transferred through approximately an hour ago. Oh. Now, of course. Did the bullworm send a fucking goes over, uh, just turns over. Wait, wait, don't turn me off. I had important things to say. I hear you're planning corporate espionage. Would you like some help? Turn this thing mm -hmm. off. Yes, she turns it off as it disappears immediately with a no way. And then uh, as that happens, Moon just kind of rubs her head. We have to get Bonnie to do something about that. Hmm. I am at least curious in what they intended to say to us. Is there any way to extract that from her without having to <clears throat> experience her? Um, not that I'm aware of. Why not just turn her on for a little bit? <sighs> Fine. Yay! Well then, in that case, I have three different plans that you might want to pursue. First off, uh, Asher, you hear the shrill voice echoing through the room as you walk in. Uh, behind you are two of the people that you recently come to discuss with. Oh, I see everything's getting started over here. <laughs> uh, we think so. They just turned this on. Uh, yeah. Apparently she had ideas, but... Uh, what? what did... So, you got the news too? Yes, I think we all received the email. 
Well then, if you'd like to assist, I can present my three ideas, and then you can rate them. <sighs> Moon kind of quietly reaches over, and then she goes, First off, if we wish to cohabit with- And then it's shut off. Do you have an idea first, before I have to listen to this obnoxious thing? Um... I say hear it out, at least for now, and then maybe... If those options yeah, maybe aren't... don't say anything because it's probably connected to the internet. <laughs> that is a fair point. We would want to have this shut down before we have any kind of discussions <laughs> of actual plans. Yep. That being said, she... let us at least hear it out and then we will make our own actual intent clear. Arca kind of speaks up. <clears throat> we have a few plans that we're capable of doing. Cohabitation with Bullworm is quite possible. By reclaiming territory for them, we'll, we'll get quite the premium over other uh, companies currently engaged with them. Option number two, we can deny them and abandon use of any Bullworm material. However, that is highly uh, irreputable as Arca is a very important company for working with Bullworm. We have contracts all the way up. But someone, we're, we're not employed with Arca anymore. Can you just, she kind of stops, kind of blinks twice. That doesn't make sense, but okay. And then plan three. <laughs> um, she sort of uh, looks over. You can contact Arca support and I do not believe plan three is viable. Okay. <laughs> if you would like to update any more information, I can come and I can calculate another cool plan for you. Just put in the valid information and put it up to Arca HQ Click and Arca. <laughs> <laughs> Shuts down this entire system while we talk. <laughs> <laughs> Just and like to a point where like he's a, he turns around, he's about to talk some more, and then he goes down, flips up a panel on the floor, and then just flips the yeah. power switch as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after flipping the power switch, you successfully turn off the actual program, and then <laughs> very well. well. Let us hear out what we act, what we intend to do, and what plans that we might have. Information is king in this situation. So, on more research on the situation, the way the UEA plans on raiding the solar farm is something scummy. They plan on sending penitent units, just prisoner Prisoners. soldiers. Hmm. Yes. So. There's certain things uh, by looking at the map that I've learned. Uh, Christian, could you uh, pull up? The, can we pull up the tactical map just so yeah. I can? Yeah, we'll pull up the tactical map. Sure thing. Yeah. So, all of you approach, and you kind of click, and the world begins shifting and changing around to eventually show off Earth Three. And as this, you all look across at the information, viewing multiple different dots and ticks of the uh, viable combat zones, along with information on our Nuessa Penitentiary and your own spaceport. So, as we look at this map, obviously we're positioned in Angra's spaceport up north. Uh, out of the way of everything. But currently, there are certain things that Bullworm has control over. Uh, normally, the DS mining facility and the uh, Satondo R&D labs are both Bullworm controlled facilities normally. But as you can see, denoted by their red, th uh, red symbols, they're no longer in control. They're either controlled by aliens or have gone dark due to various reasons. Now, the only other bullworm-owned facility on this planet is in Everett, but that by no means means actual control. It's simply a building with paperwork and CEOs in it. They have no actual muscle in them. And I don't think the UEA actually has skin in this game either, seeing as they're sending penitent units instead of mercenaries or their own troops. So if you kind of look at the map, they're kind of just sending what they think they can get away with that's in the area. Yes. Yes. That's Which brings up option indeed. D. Fuck oh. Bullworm. <laughs> <laughs> They can't um, really Pops. enforce their rules on us. Yeah, Pops yes, kind of... I'm... Uh, Pops kind of uh, curves up. I've always wanted to say that for as long as I've worked for Arca. So if they can't enforce anything, then what's your plan? Uh, Asher's going to look at uh, 
Seti or uh, uh... <laughs> Seti like scratches the back of her neck. Counter attack, hard and fast. So you... they're gonna like send the prisoners from the penitentiary, right? Mm -hmm. And Ash, uh, 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 Jawline over there's idea was to you know like go and fight with them because that would be like honor and stuff but like screw that yeah said he was like what did you say said he say it you said it was so hot <laughs> she hunches over slightly like your hair falling around her. she's like i figured now using the chaos now more than ever we can use our contacts in the black market well uh sort of while the terrain's still shifting after the glassing we can actually make a move on the prison cut it off on this uh cut them off from the source Listen, if they're gonna treat us like prisoners, hell, might as well consider ourselves one of them. Moon. Why not bail them out? <laughs> she stretches. <laughs> yeah, Moon kind of speaks up almost immediately. Wait, so you're suggesting we attack a UAA facility? Darn straight. Isn't that... that sounds pretty stupid, if I'm being honest. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> she folds her arms, and she's like, well, stupid, yeah. It's a move that they will certainly not predict because she uh, like spins in place and like weaves a hand around and points. We've actually got the backing of various black market dealers from the area. We can move in unaffiliated. She taps her nose, independent contractors, remember? Silas, uh, who has been <laughs> quite silent throughout all of this, um, takes a second and again you can't like read anything on his face obviously and then he just kind of steps forward puts his hand down on the counter and goes hmm yes hmm <laughs> that is that is certainly an angle we could take I personally think I might want to at least have one last piece of backup if we want to do this but you said you, you have like Okay. Black market connections? She she nods and that actually whistles. Wow, I guess I read you wrong. I thought you'd be staunchly against this. If I am to be perfectly honest, in my experience, especially on Earth-9, the kind of people who end up in penitentiaries like this are quite often simply scorned by society. Oh, sure, there's so a couple nice of... nice to me. <laughs> Sure, there is one or two people who are undesirable and most certainly do not deserve freedom, but those can That's be weeded me. out in time. <laughs> You're making me blush. <laughs> one way or another, this is certainly one way to ensure that we do not have, or rather that we are not under the thumb of Bullworm, especially if, we, if what Asher says is true and they have no real way to counter, counteract this action. <clears throat> you see what And if you... If you want to make this like a business deal, right? If you look at us, the only other thing in our area is the penitentiary. So if we free a bunch of prisoners, let them loose, and hopefully they're all not horrible serial killers or whatever, then it's almost like we're starting our own economy in this horrible wasteland that we can <laughs> trade with. I didn't take economics. I didn't even go to high school. <laughs> <laughs> Silas. Yeah. Uh, Silas, he, like, he, he folds his arms and he, he makes another pensive sound before he goes, that is, hmm, that is a fair point. Although, oh, as mentioned, I want one last piece of backup and I want to do one last piece of research to ensure that we have some kind of a fallback should this go south. That being said, we are in a unique position to take advantage of one particular facet of our newly established company. Namely your status as contract workers. Hmm. <laughs> I am going to state this once and I will ensure that you are all understanding me. Whatever actions we decide to take in regard to the penitentiary are independent actions that you have decided to take. You will not be taking any of our mechs and you will certainly not be associating yourselves with us on any official level when this is happening. Is that clear? <laughs> Salute right out, boss! Excellent. Anything for you, daddy. <laughs> and what that being is... said, 
He what? brings up his uh, his mm. his pad and starts tapping around on it and lets the conversation go as he's doing that. Are we out Asha real quick? Then? What this means is if we don't go, what the bullworm was probably trying to do was when we help attack the solar farm, claim the credit for themselves, get in favor of the UEA, and then have UEA's help capturing one of their occupied facilities. If we don't do this, bullworm is pretty much in the dirt, no UEA standing, and that also makes it where if the pennant soldiers can't attack the solar farm, that means someone else can. Like us, whenever we feel like it. <laughs> Silas at this point uh, looks up from his pad and goes, um, I knew I was keeping track of this for a reason. I thought this might come in handy. Wartime also tends to inspire a level of desperation in a lot of people who have monetary gain to be had, especially if it's to do with some kind of territory. Uh, he brings up uh, on his uh, pad and kind of, I suppose, like shoots off to everybody else's personal devices as well. Uh, it looks like a bunch of legalese. It's essentially just like a really wordy contract, but he goes- well, I falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes, this acts as, from what I can tell off of a glance, this may very well be our ticket to having a backup as well as a reason to attack the solar farm and retake it on our own terms. If I am to read this correctly, and I will have to reconfirm this, I believe this states that the UAA, UEA has a contract in place, which is that anyone who reclaims territory is, is entitled to a portion of the profits of that territory. Oh, that's nasty. It most what certainly an amazing is. advantage. <laughs> Pops. I just wanted to piss it on, Yeah. On, I just wanted to piss on some suit's desk. Well, this sounds like the best plan we've got for now. <laughs> I'm signing up for it. <laughs> Moon kind of speaks up. No, Pops, you're not signing up for it. We can't have a leader on this mission. That if you get if everyone else get caught, we can have some level of deniability, but if you go, that's leadership confirmed knowledge and we would have to boot you and we cannot do that. Yes, I would expect a leader such as yourself to have such the presence of mind to know that. <laughs> he just kind of like sighs. Well, fine, but I approve of the mission, I guess is what I mean too. As do I, I second this motion. Moon kind of thinks a bit. It's an irrelevant vote, but you've laid out a good point, so sure. And with that, everyone sort of uh, steps back from the map for a bit and sort of looking on over. So, I guess that just means we have to get going. What's the first step? And upon that note, mm -hmm. the first step, the very first goal of this, step one. <laughs> infiltrate the facility Ooh. <laughs> meanwhile sometime later a man kind of leans back staring up at the roof tired as all hell as he sort of just spins and then just kicks his feet up sort of restless at this point just looking up, tapping his knee with his finger silently, not able to sleep super well in this facility. Something about the lighting here just really gets on his nerves. Though he's always hated this place. Probably the worst prison he's ever been in. Popping up, just sort of scoots out of the bed, despite desperately needing to get some more sleep in before the next shift. He just kind of runs over. He goes over to the wall and then places his hands up against it and just kind of leans in and he just yells, Grant! Hey, Grant! <laughs> and then on the other end, uh, over there, Grant, you just kind of snap up. I don't know if you were sleeping, if you were reflecting, regardless of what you were doing, you just got knocked the fuck out of it. Whoa! Whoa. What is it, dumpster? What do you want? <laughs> uh, Grant, I'm fucking bored! 
This shit sucks, Grant. <laughs> That's Grant. my fear. <laughs> Boredom is a common thing. I know. So I'm hoping you can look. You did. You did. You, were, are, wasn't your whole thing supposed to be that you took care of bored people? Now, I don't well, want to be like all personal and stuff, but I'd love if you could indulge me a little bit. Well, usually it involves having to be in the same room with us, at least. He kind of checks over as he's just like, Well, I just need your cute voice, buddy. All oh, right? shucks. <laughs> yeah. Where they got you working this week? You haven't gotten your assignment yet, Grant. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. I think the printer broke. So I think they're going to shove my ass in there to go fix it. Good luck with that. I've never been one to handle the delicate stuff. I think I'm gonna burn myself, man. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, so I need, look, if I die, I need you to take my tags, okay? Oh, Just you're to tell not you. gonna die, but I guess I'll, I can promise you that. Yeah. He's told you this a couple of times now. Every time there's like a small, even a just a sub 1% chance of death doing anything. He's always given you this serious question. I need you to take my tags if I go. Referring, of course, to his almost strange cylindrical dog tags he has hanging from his neck that seem to have some sort of data about lost souls on them. You've never looked at them, but he did manage on good behavior to get them checked and then given back to him by the prison security. You don't know how he managed to convince them of that, but all the same, he just kind of leans back again. Man, I think I'd rather be on a robot right now than in here. Have you heard that whole thing about like the fucking, uh, they're going to start sending out people in, uh, in Max prison huh. sign up for anyone's with Lancet's experience. Well, Despite, be, uh, despite us both being in the war, I can't say I have any experience in them, but hey, there's a but first I mean, time you, for everything. You, yeah, I mean, I, hey man, you get out there, we kick ass, I think, you know? I think we'd be able to settle that shit. You and me against the world, right? What, just the two of us? That's all you need. There might be ten other douchebags, but I mean, hey, who cares about them? True, just need someone to watch your back. You kind of, uh... You, nothing, you don't hear anything, because you can't tell if he nods his head or makes some sort of gesture or not. He seems to make those a lot whenever he speaks. He loves accentuating his words with sudden, swift, uh, swift not as smooth movements. And he sort of just, you hear the sound of like a thud, him kicking back on something on the bed. Oh, there's one other piece of news. Oh? Kind of interesting, if I gotta say. Did you hear... About that new girl. And meanwhile, phase one of the plan is almost complete. Spoiler. You're yeah. sitting in front of an internment room currently. <laughs> and you are staring directly across at a UEA officer and a prison guard holding close to you. Your right arm has been removed and your left arm since they can't really chain it to your arm anymore, I've just kind of been chained over to the chair you're sitting in now. <laughs> itself is bolted into the ground. You probably shouldn't have taken off my arm. You can't cuff me. <laughs> we make do. He just kind of... He's, this officer himself seems to just kind of be looking over the uh, assembled uh, papers he has on you. And he just kind of checks up for a second and he's just like... I just have some questions for you here. Nothing, right, uh, of course. I am interviewing uh, for a very important position in an unethical prison army. Kind of, uh, clicks his time for a second. Yeah, how do you know about that? Uh, That's where we'll start um, first. Good question. Um, you, you ever read a book? Uh, yes. Yeah, it was read in the book. Oh, really? What book? Uh, you you probably wouldn't have heard of it. It's an Earth no. One thing. Give, give me give me a shot. Um, the the book of unethical practices by prisons in uh, the uh, on Earth. I don't think I have heard of that one. Um, kind of yeah, puts, I didn't uh, think so. Thing aside, primarily, can you answer us, please, why you managed to get on out here? Uh, to the prison. No, there's about a multi 
Uh, about uh, hundreds of miles of desert in every direction. Right. So I just uh, wanted to join a prison. And this sure. seemed like the best one. So I, I went up to the front door and I said, uh, excuse me, officer, can I please be arrested? And he was like, no. So I threw a rock at him and then he arrested me. <laughs> he kind of stares directly across and he's just kind of like, what we want to identify here is specifically who brought you here and what sort of practical joke you're playing on us right now. I walked. Highly improbable. Do you but have? Not we impossible. Haven't, we've detected no real water on your person. No way to survive long-term exposure to the desert. Yeah, because I'm fifty percent clink clink, bro. He just kind of rubs the bridge of his brow a little bit. Right, uh, ma'am. I can kind of sense there's a level of. Uh, miscommunication between us uh, or I dare say potential um, tomfoolery bit of fucking well, around if you want to do that then you should have just told me he just kind of turns turns over and he's just like why you want to come out and fight um uh, my uh, duty to the desert or whatever. I hate aliens. I hate them. I'm racist. <laughs> this seemed like the easiest way to do it with no experience. I'll be back with you. Um, please take her to solitary. Uh, the guy kind of pulls up, clicks a bar um, on his person to your back, and um, then he kind of clicks on the handcuff, and he just Thank takes you, you on this way as the logistics officer here who was pulled out just stares almost bewilderedly at you as you go and they do a full metallic cavity search to try to clean you out of everything but they don't find everything just as you had planned even if they did you had fallbacks <laughs> it seems these prison boys are a bit distractible and the next week or two you get to work and then, phase two. All the way out at Everett. Traveling a long distance in order to contact multiple black market vendors. That was what you had said, Seti. In fact, yeah. you were correct. There were plenty of people that you could have contacted. Every single one of them turned you down. <laughs> For the budget you had... For the emergency and danger of the operation, though you didn't clarify much. Uh, need more experience with these people. Need more, you know, uh, only for good buyers, for loyal buyers, not for these newbies. Doesn't seem like many people have much care for Twilight Mercenary Company. In fact, it might be because you're a mercenary company. A lot of business is done with Milky Circle, and people don't like competitors. And a lot of the other people, they just didn't trust you. So, you did end up biting once, though. You managed to find one person who was interested in maybe talking business. And by this point, you've really worked out your pitch with all the practice you had to do elsewhere. So, now, you've sent in one person ahead of the gang to do a clear-off. That is... Farah, you step on through that door, the stairway and move on in to this building, this empty lot for the most part, besides a few barren cars. And along the way, you notice sort of off and uh, near the center of the room, you see a woman just sort of standing there, um, kind of staring off in a direction, sort of looking at a, an electronic she has. You also notice that she seems to almost visibly be augmented chances are she has vision devices in her eyes that'll let her view this thing anyway so looking at something as old-fashioned as a pad that's probably a sign more than anyone that that's who you're looking for let me uh just show you now uh, all right uh let's get this shit over with <laughs> you pace across the way, walk up, 
and the woman gives you a sort of a sideward glance for a second. Let me Hello? get on the other side of you so I can see your sideward glance. <laughs> she sort of looks for a second, a bit confused. Hello? I'm Hello. sorry, I'm not really in the mood for talking. I'm waiting for my fiancé. Oh, well, um... Your fiancé, uh... <laughs> Farrah holds up her arm, and there's a <laughs> mudged marker on it. <laughs> Had a little accident at the playground. She sort of blinks. Very well. Are you willing to keep me company instead? <laughs> Fair looks at her arm again. Uh, does that mean we good? There's a I mean, yes. lidless expression and stare forward, just completely blank. Yes, that means we are good. All right, All cool. Right. Good. Are you alone or did you come with friends? Uh, no. Just me here. Just you and me, all alone, right? She kind of stares. No. She sort of steps back this way and then sort of uh, looks over. I'll call my friends. Uh, oh, there, there's no need for that. Up. We're having such a good time together. Uh, she'll make a roll really quick. Uh, okay, no, she doesn't. Uh, meanwhile, uh, hey, Duck, you are over here, completely invisible, and it doesn't seem like she's noticed you. Wonderful. Her invisibility suit is active, and you've just sort of been watching carefully. Uh, meanwhile, up above the door, Seti and Asher are just kind of chilling back, waiting. Um, <laughs> as, um, uh, she kind of steps back, and then, without even verbally talking out loud, um, you see over here, uh, as almost emerging out a man there's a closing of doors as a man steps out moves his way forward uh farah you can kind of see someone now standing in the dead center of a light he's got a gray trench coat and hat with a shotgun at his side sort of placing on the ground and a grim expression that almost seems tired and without any sort of good nature nor uh compassion in it a truly hardened man who stands directly across, looking around their ways. Um, you've confirmed your uh, your dealer, so it's about time to call in the others. Uh, you brought a friend. How very friendly of you. Uh, I guess I can call my bum friends in, too. <laughs> she sort of looks. Please do. I am not the dealer. I am, as you'd say, a bum friend. Uh, Asher, Seti, you both just kind of break in through the doors as all three of you move on over and you get your classic fucking cinematic under the light stand as you look across at this man down here who sort of seems to be holding a shotgun and scanning all the directions, almost keeping a watchful eye out of the area as he looks across the way. Is everyone? Yes, this is everyone. Yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> He kind of stops, and he sort of just suddenly holds a shotgun, and then clinks it down onto the cement to the side. All right, then. <laughs> and he sort of just turns around. Hey, boss! <laughs> and down here, a decrepit form peeks around the corner. Oh! Look no. at I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I can of, feel it coming! <laughs> sort of crawling out from the corner, this spider of a man, an old, old form that creeps with this decrepitness that sort of appears, well, to say the least, he looks older than anyone in Earth 3, and it seems like gravity has broken down his form even further <laughs> as he sort of walks on up with him, his bodyguard kind of stepping onto the side as both of them step on up and they join your procession, and a decrepit evil hand just reaches out and goes to shake with you, Asher. He has no option but to take it. <laughs> and then he takes it and shakes. So who am I talking to today? My name is... Kind of thinks for a second. 
You can call me Paul. <laughs> How about that? It's a pleasure to meet you, Paul. Hey, Why Paul. Hey. Hi, Paul. And these are my friends, Rosaline. He points over to his right. And Lambo. <laughs> so, who am I have the pleasure of meeting with today who's come to represent the Twilight Mercenary Group? I, I sure it's just like god i should have thought of like some sort of name to say beforehand <laughs> um, uh seti seti will immediately speak up and uh uh like pointing to asher she's like uh this guy his name is nameless <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> wait mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, how come Nameless gets to be in charge? You really just called me up here just to, like, be the first one in who might get shot or something? Uh, You're not even gonna let me do negotiations or whatever? <laughs> do you want me to give you a cooler nickname or something? Will that pacify you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool, Supernova. Uh, Supernova's <laughs> taking the back. <laughs> Go get him, Nameless! <laughs> oh, amazing. Yes. Um, we are here to represent Twilight Merc Group. Wow. You, I appreciate you uh, um, deciding to work with us. Is there any specific reason you didn't turn us down like many other people? Oh, uh, well, you see, we at Sea Shanty just love getting to know new people. <laughs> so he sort of, um, see... I was actually kind of surprised to see new mail popping up on my, uh... He sort of takes out a toothpick and then rubs, and some kind of red substance is flicked out of his teeth. <laughs> uh, we're gonna show you, uh, New Bloods. A lot of people are afraid of New Bloods, but me, I see potential where others don't. You see, my philosophy kind of goes like this. Merc companies... They're like fruit on a tree. They get better and better, and then they fall off and start rotting. So you're ripe as... Oh. You're not even ready to harvest yet, but that's how I like them. I love super tart, bitter fruit companies to stick my fingers in and pull out the seeds. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> Have this. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm glad. So let's ripen together, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad. So I assume you have what we need. Uh, he kind of like uh, flicks his uh, toothpick off in the direction. Oh yeah. So if I'm correct, you wanted uh, you wanted some mighty fine mechs. You did. I got the junks, and on top of that, uh, you wanted an APC for quick delivery. Threw that one in extra. Mm-hmm. And you have our money all sorted. Though, I told you I'd want a little bit more info on this job. After all, when I saw what you were sort of doing, it got me curious. If I'm correct, you're going to be doing something out near the penitentiary, correct? You don't have to tell me what. <laughs> Mr. Paul, are you a fan of prisons? Do I look like a man who's a fan of prisons? Then you're going to love what running. we're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of uh, <laughs> checks on over. Tell me. Are you going to ripen yourselves on the field of battle in the, between the bars of our justice system? Perhaps. That's beautiful. <laughs> he kind of, um... <laughs> he kind of... <laughs> he sort of, uh, checks across the way. Well, I've got some great news for you. Tell me. Uh, for this APC, uh... I saw that you had a request for a pilot. Well, I've got a great choice for you. He steps back and delivers a slap against Lumbao's back, who just sort of doesn't even register the slap as he just kind of stares. He has been staring at all of you for the past fucking five minutes. And then he sort of steps up. 
Lambau here will drive your precious APC because I've... I hate prisons, I gotta tell you. Prisons? Just the worst. <laughs> they stink. They're full of stinky people. But, you know, I don't hate stinky people, only the stinky prisons. I've got a real veritable piece of trash I want to get out because he used to do great business with me before he got shoved on in. Well, it looks like our motives align, so that's very comforting to hear, sir. Oh! Well, this makes it so much easier. This is just basically a free thing then now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he kind of uh, ducks over. In that case, business is business is business. We're working together. TMG and C shanty. Beginning of a wonderful business. <laughs> sort of uh, checks over. <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing. The decrepit head turns, almost shifting to the side to look past Asher's shoulder. Farah, for a split second, you're terrified that his glance is coming towards you. But then his head tilts a bit more to the side as he stares directly at said <laughs> saw the face! Drop! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, little miss! Uh, is that... That oh, I should say big miss! Yeah, that can't be me, right? <laughs> <laughs> He leaned his head over when he honestly didn't have to. As you notice, he gets up. Why don't you shake hands with me? I think we share a point of home, if I'm looking at you correct. Oh, really? You notice he's pretty tall, but you thought he was just kind of normal Earth. Man, he must have been small on Earth-12. Oh, boy. Or he's been here a long time. Uh -huh. and Oh, God. Is this a glimpse of my future? <laughs> Don't worry. If you she care about your aesthetics, you can lift your face. I haven't, though. <laughs> Seti uh, thinks about her own consistently drooping expression yeah. and vibe and is like, yeah. you know what, maybe I should, I, maybe I yeah. should look into that. Uh, you should have yeah. seen young Paul. I was quite the killer. <laughs> <laughs> Seti, uh, quickly, you say- You know oh, what I said about riping for- He keeps interrupting your- yeah, no. as he Seti, keeps talking Seti about Seti himself. realizes that shaking his hand will cease him from speaking and does so. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pull away, like, unplugging a computer. Yeah! He sort of stops and blinks and he's like, Right, right, I didn't call you over to catch up. I saw. He kind of, like, he wants to poke you, but he doesn't really know where. And so he just kind of, like- Waves his fingers at you and then puts his <laughs> hand down. I saw you requested a bounty update system in yours. Say, <laughs> would you like to do some work with me? <laughs> <laughs> Sparks are flying. Sonny's <laughs> so like, hey, if you've got a tie in to the bounty system at large, honestly, I'd be happy for the opportunity. <laughs> okay, he gives you that. <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> all that should be prepared. Oh, just a heads up. The guy I want you to get out's gonna register. So just ignore him, okay? Oh, how big? <laughs> well, he's not technically on the board anymore. But once he's out, he's gonna be a big one. <laughs> just... Don't go after him before he starts doing business with me again, lady. Sunny, like, happily shrugs. She's like, best part about merc work and bounty work in particular is you get to choose the jobs you take, so no big deal. Well, well, good to know. Well, you want to see the goods, don't you? <laughs> yes, that would be, uh, exciting. Oh, good. Well... I have a nice little orchard outside of town. Got some real good fruits for picking. <laughs> he says, uploading, uploading coordinates to your location. As with that in mind, phase two has been completed. God damn it. What a, what a nice man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's so considerate. <laughs> oh, you two really hit it off. <laughs> 
<laughs> looks uh, over at Farah. <laughs> she starts heading off a little bit as you all are prepared now. The next step. The next step should be an easy one, all things considered. <clears throat> all you have to do now is go after it. The facility itself, Bullworm. Everything that needs to be done here will have to be done quickly. You get your mechs, you'll go in, you'll get out. But the first one to do anything will have to be spoiler. After all, she has a very special role to play in all of this. Mm -hmm. Let me just go over to that map really quick. As um, hey, spoiler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let me just drop you down on a uh, an area first, and then I'll I'll pop it in. You sit sure inside of your prison room, just sort of reflecting on how the day's gone. It's been a bit difficult. You've had to deal with um. It's been a little bit now. You've got a Quentin. Sucks here, but every day you're just thinking about today. You've been holding on and just waiting, and it's almost excited. This one's way bigger than the last mm -hmm. one, so it's not too yeah. bad. Nah. You've managed to get everything in place. And so you're just sort of standing around as you had a few friends you made here. One of which ended up being a perfect patsy to get you set up for this point. You managed to plant some bombs around the facility, scope things out, get all the information, and got it transferred to Duck rather quietly. But now, as you sort of just count on an internal clock, waiting, waiting patiently, you count down the moments, and suddenly, as the moment starts to strike, you hold in your hand, pulling something out that's been shoved in close within your breathing apparatus, an area that would mostly as considered almost always made of metal for your enhancements. You almost stick your hand. I don't know how you do this. If you stick your hand in your mouth and pull it out or pull it out. Yeah. Of a, yeah. So you just sort of shuck out this little tiny detonator device and you just spin it in your hand. And Brennan, it's all on you. This was a great plan, spoiler. This is probably my best work. This is why we they call me Big Brain Spoiler. Uh, without any further... Adieu. I'm going to break out of this present. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. And on cue, there's a click and then an explosion. And uh, actually, no, you know what? This one. Suddenly breaking apart. All the doors in the prison just shatter open as... The guard who's doing patrol suddenly stops and turns around as he, the closest person he sees is you. He stops like, wait a minute, what? He uh, sort of reaches down for a communication device, but. Uh, I'm not doing anything, officer. There's a bunch of prisoners down the street rioting or whatever. Uh, upon cue, someone sort of steps up, scratches the back of their head with an almost worrying glance, and they turn around and someone turns and like, get back in your cell! And, I don't think I will, officer. I think I'm quite happy being out today. Someone else kind of checks out as uh, they sort of look along the way. And uh, the officer just kind of moves over and just kind of goes into smack. And they sort of take the hit on their arm. This older type of woman just getting knocked and rocketed a little bit before she just kind of leaps on him and just brings him on over to the ground as he crashes down. And then Damn, that's crazy. A door clicks as someone runs through. Uh, this guy reaches up to just shove you forward back into your cell. 
I didn't leave my cell. I'm obeying the law. It doesn't seem like he cares as he just pushes you back in anyways and then tries to go in and just click on some type of manual button, but it doesn't seem to work. And then oh, no. someone else just starts running for it and then he starts going after them instead, just leaving you standing there in your cell. And All right, with... I'm gonna head out. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Grant? Yeah? You and Summers were in the middle of another conversation on a different day, and then he checks and looks over. Grant? Grant, is this you? Grant, is this fucking you? No, but it's our lucky day. I think your boredom's finally gonna be done. Oh, God, man. He kind of like, you're my lucky fucking charms, man. Uh, a man I try. Sort of looks out and he kind of peeks out a bit and the man kind of moves over and just kind of, get, get back inside. And he sort of applies, just sort of terrified as another man comes out and runs up and goes in and he smacks the back of the helmet and turning around, this man just whacks him along the side with a baton and he sort of gets knocked back, sort of coaching a wound on his head. Um, Samuel instead runs out, and you run out with him. Uh, Grant, you want to give me a, uh, a, uh, roll for this? You want to do a take out someone out roll? Yeah. Pull my character sheet. Bup, bup. Bup, 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 bup. Where's take someone out? Boop. All right. All I didn't right. see it roll. I didn't see it roll. Here, I'll click uh, on that. Okay. Oh, okay. You go in. And, um, uh, you basically, like, end up trying to, like, you basically, uh, uh it try to go None of us and, can see it. <laughs> yeah, it's a four. Uh, you basically okay. <laughs> try to go in and grab at this guy, but, uh, as you do so, he sort of reaches in, uh, kind of pulls back, and both of you are sort of struggling at this point to try to get any sort of, like, lead on this dude, and I'm gonna roll for Sam really quick. As a uh, sort of distracted to you, Sam just kind of uppercuts him very swiftly, knocking him back and out onto the ground. And then he kind of reaches around and pulls out a baton. I think you might need this, buddy. Uh, he tosses a baton at you. And uh, you end up sort of running with him as... All you kind of moving up, you notice more and more people begin to start breaking out. There's a lot of tumultuous energy as both of you move out and someone else kind of goes over. A man that's, you've seen in the cell before, kind of a sweaty and little disgusting man just kind of looks across at you. It's like, a, it's finally time, man. I've been fucking jonesing for this. <laughs> All right. He kind of pats you on the back. You couldn't have showered before you left? <laughs> I don't, I fucking hate that stuff. Um... <laughs> Uh, you and Sam would get along so well. Uh, Sam sort of moves up and starts harassing the guy over here and sort of pushing him aside as everyone assembled in this room starts to seem to get shoved aside as there's a alarm is obviously blaring loud at this point as the crowd sort of starts corralling around the corner and these guys end up just kind of, one of them gets taken to the ground and prisoners just start tearing away, tearing off his helmet, his armor, his baton taking out a lot of pent-up frustration and rage at these individual officers who they've grown to know. The abusers being knocked down to the ground, taken out one by one. Grant, Sam clicks a button and turns around. Got the door, let's go! Uh, Ladies first. Oh well, you first, Sam. Okay, he just kind of runs up, turns Somebody around the help corner. Me. I'm a defenseless one-armed girl and I'm trying to break out of prison. <laughs> You push your way past these people, Grant, I imagine, to go help this um, wonderful lady. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh my, uh, so, okay, so, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so. I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to break out of prison, so I'm trying to stay focused right now, but, um, so I've got, like, a daddy at the office, but I have a really good opening for a stepdaddy, and I think you're just the one to fill it. <laughs> well, Lover, well, Grant. well, little lady. Play your cards right or play your cash right, and maybe that'll happen someday. Follow okay. me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you head up as you see Sam has stopped dead. He's got Excuse me. Pardon me. the sort of confident look he has is suddenly halted as you peek around the corner, and uh, you see um, four to five, no, six even people having brought out the shields, quickly rushing in, having locked the door behind them, however, unlocked by 
Sam kind of stares at it. Uh, anyone got, like, yeah, you, no, of course no one has a fucking grenade. Uh, he sort of turns his head forward. Uh, shit. Get back in your cells right now! Someone starts advancing upwards. And, uh, as you all start moving forward, uh, behind, the door almost clicks as it slowly pops open. And, uh, Grant, you see a form you've seen once or twice. And the strangest thing about it, you've seen him outside of prison, too. As moving up the door, it clicks open. A shadow almost cast it over his face as the light from the prison complex reveals him. And he sort of steps through. Sir, we don't have... He turns around. He thought it was his officer. After all, that's what makes sense. But instead, a man walks through with a pistol in his hand, sort of spins it once, raises it up, and before even getting a moment to react, bullets begin to fly as shooting out a couple of shots. Well, it just happens a bit like this. One shot rings out at the man immediately to his right, hitting him in the back as he hits the ground. Without even wasting another shot of ammo, he wames up, almost taking a shot that bounces off the helmet and sort of lands into a soft spot in the armor of the next man. This is a process repeated twice on the next two people down. The last one manages to turn around his shield in time before a shot manages to go off, but that opens up a, sh a man an avenue of attack for you. Grant or spoiler, the way RP combats work, you say what you want to do. And I just say if it works or not after a roll. So, leaving it open to you, who wants to go first? Step daddy. Uh, <laughs> stay behind me, little lady. He just charges forward at this guard, hoping to knock him off balance into the pile of men. All right, give me another take someone out roll. I can make it if you have trouble. But... Uh, yeah, I'm clicking on in my character, so you might make it for me. All right. Wow. God. We got to get him out of the way now. That was Shades an actual of one. Me. Fuck. So, you go up to go grab this guy and sort of take him out silently from the hind. Um, and as you try to kind of go up and do it, uh, Sam throws himself against the shield, but they sort of turn around again and try to uh, get at you too. And with that in mind, another gun is raised up and fired. Their attention once more distracted, two more shots ring out. Cold, efficient. Mercilessly, six men are gunned down in the span of 10 seconds. Show off. Well, who is that mysterious he's sort of stranger? Like, <laughs> he sort of uh, takes a look across the way. Show off or not, gets the job done. Hey, Grant. He sort of clicks the safety on the gun and then spins it in his hand again. And then sort of just, it slowly unwinds around his finger until at the very end, he flings it up in the air with his middle finger and then it sort of lands up and it's going in your direction. You manage to catch it and sort of hold it in your hand as he sort of looks across the way. That was for 17, buddy. Good luck getting out of here. Me, I'm just going to go on my own way. He sort of kind of steps on back. Oh, saw a nice cycle in the garage, if that's your kind of thing. He sort of just steps off, moving on throughout the hallway. As wow, there's so much raw masculine energy in this hallway. <laughs> I'm getting sick of it. Move! She kind of steps <laughs> on the way, stepping over these bodies and starts heading out this way as well. Uh, the crowd begins to spill out as all three of you see freedom ahead. For Grant and Sam, it's even more welcome. <laughs> Man, what the hell is even going on here? Hey, lady, are the rumors true? Kind of turns over to you, spoiler. You some what kind rumors? of outsider. I've been pretty loud about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. He kind of, uh, uh, just kind that of thing stuff. I said about my friends coming with robots to break us all out. Yeah, that was all totally true. Why do I look like a liar? <laughs> I mean, it's not just a thing about lying. Everyone thinks their friends are going to come break them out. He sort of stops and turns over. But damn, I guess they deliver. Sort of stepping on up. Well, all right then, lady, you want to stick with us? We got a lot oh, of that sure. masculine energy on sale if you want to stick with it. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll stick with your uh, masculine energy, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, okay. Hey, Grant, we got a nice hanger on now. Uh, it seems like you can carry your own weight. Now, uh, what's what's your name, miss? Uh, you can call me Spoiler. 
It's not my real name. Hey, All right. whatever, whatever you pick's good for me. What's your nice name? Nice to meet you, spoiler. Name's Green. Got it. Stepdaddy. What about you, dirtbag? <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually Damn. pretty accurate. That was kind of close. Well, my name's Samuel Summers, but uh, as you sort of in- interpreted, uh, dumpster is what I used to be called. Damn, sometimes I hit the nail on the head. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, you all I can feel you're trying to hit something else, too. As uh, some of the prisoners <laughs> start splitting off in different directions, uh, moving off into different rooms. Uh, however, you think the garage is located down south, so you all start heading out as you all begin to move together out and through. The alarms continue to blare in the background as everyone in every cell begins to break out in different directions. And meanwhile, on the outside, you seem a similar experience happening throughout. As alarms blaring in every direction, soldiers begin to fire forth out from their different buildings, pre-positioned elsewhere. They've already been on alert for a little while now as they start setting up uh, sort of barriers as best they can. On the down low, they laid out a silent alarm. Mechs were approaching fast. As they all start setting up, orders begin to be shouted as everyone begins to spill out and beginning to go. Everyone, you all find yourself at the gate. Moving in fast with these new vehicles that you've managed to find and position yourselves in. Breaking the door down, blasted over by machines, you've come. Justice returning to the House of Law. Who wants to go first? Uh, first off, I'm gonna carry us over to break screen real quick just so I can fix some stuff so I can see the walls. Sure, sounds good. In that case, I want everyone to pick positions on the starting zone. Because of your ability at the beginning of the, before we even started here, you got an extra deployment zone off to the side of the map where I know Asher's starting. However, we still have uh, a bunch of people down here and uh, put yourself anywhere in the green zone. And when you come back, we'll get started. All right, let's go. All right, I'm just gonna start adding on the enemies. Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. Oh, sorry, I'm placing myself. (laughs) Sure. Yeah. yeah, for some reason it dragged some of the other soldiers and stuff, but yeah. Alright. <clears throat> what is this banger? This is fucking this is awesome. Banner, yeah. Is this Limp Biscuit? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aloha, you wanna go first, them. just to make sure? <laughs> Very yeah, fun. Yeah. For some reason, my ja- my camera keeps getting dragged places. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's every yeah. time a character that the camera has control of moves while off the screen, your camera recenters to it. Mm. Jeez, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Me. I, yeah, I can go first. I think right. I think that's the best way to begin yeah. this, right? Yeah, I'd say so. All right. So, Asher, uh, starting off at the side of the prison, uh, this is all part of the plan. So, uh, first off, uh, yeah. Um, there you go. So, standard movement. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. Just to get lined up. Uh, and then I'm going to do full action. Uh, and I'm uh-huh. going to use uh, the Mars's core power. Uh, cavalry charge. You want to use core power? Yes, I do. Basically, mm-hmm. I get to move eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you yeah, know. Up to eight spaces, and uh, so I move it, uh, busting through the door, doing uh, 20 AP kinetic damage uh, through the wall, uh, knocking all of the these two APCs and one tank prone, uh, and then also making being able to make an attack against uh, each one. So uh, let yep. me target them. Uh, what is All it? Right, it's, like shift, just, uh... it's like shift target, right? Yes. Shift target to get attacks against all of them. All, all right. three of these vehicles positioned here, as you break through the wall, you notice how all of them are currently powered off. Engines sort of roaring They st- as the barbed wire from the wall is just sort of blasted off. They are all not even operational yet, and before they get a chance to turn on, you just smash through all of them. Yeah. And here's my attack. I uh, get a uh, plus one on one of these due to my uh, duelist, but yeah. Yeah! Oh! You not a- oh man! Oh, oh, that's beefy! I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get to see the roll. Fuck! I, let me, I'm refreshing. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I saw it. So uh, you got one crit, uh, yeah, but yeah. it's okay because you did basically six damage on both of them. Yeah. Uh, so all of these take six damage. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and as a part of that, uh, yeah. they also um, are all knocked prone. Yeah. As not only are they barely operational and still need to turn on, they are all also now knocked prone on the ground. As soldiers start shouting from beneath you, the UAA troops positioned here have no idea what's going on. And upon seeing a Mars unit, you hear confusion start to get yelled. Uh, Duck, you start picking up comms chatter throughout the chat. You've managed to break into the UEA security lines, lines that you managed to hack into by having access to them earlier a few days, a few weeks ago. As they started sh shouting out, Wait! It's not... It's not aliens! <laughs> confusion starts running across the lines as um, a automated computer voice starts calling through. This is CompCom Sky Voice reporting. What is going on? Please report the situation with proper data. And mm. uh, with that, that's your turn unless you want to overcharge Aloha. Uh, so uh, there's these soldiers here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, what I do want to want to try to do is uh, after doing this, the APC and tank, uh, this Mars unit is going to turn to them uh, and say, I suggest you get out of here. If you get into these, a flip these APCs and drive off, I'm not going to chase you. Just leave. This base is already lost. You shout that out loud, and uh, in classic style, let me do a uh, uh, 40k morale roll. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. What about the other one? Okay. Um. Uh. You hear an argument start breaking out between the different troops and squads. Something you can't start picking out, but it seems to be some sort of disturbance amongst the ranks there. You might not get them all, but so long as you leave them be for now, you might convince one group to leave. All right. So, uh, was that was were those rolls visible? Uh, they were. I don't know why that. You know. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Just, just, uh, just I can't keep reloading and fixing this stuff. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah. let's just say what our rolls are out loud. Just. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, you can just close the sidebar now, really, honestly. But yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, so with that in mind, um, it's time for one of these other turns to happen. Oh, I forgot to add on the turrets. Oh, um, yeah. So, no need. Uh, Seti, you've yes. burst on in. You're standing directly up there. As you notice um, a number of people standing around, uh, the troops there see a target around their size, so they aim forward and attempt to fire at you. Excellent. You will have... Um, soft cover from this, however, um, since I think any route to you is going to be, uh, yep, show, okay, they will, uh, take a bunch of shots as bursting in your armor, the first time to test this personal side armor, they are going to just sit by your cover and barrage at you, firing off multiple shots, so. Excellent. Here's the first primary fire shot. Yeah, that's a, a crit that's DP! A Jesus! Oh, Damn, you take two damage. I take two damage! I take one damage! One, <laughs> and more fire begins to ring off. All of these shots ring true, however, you only take two damage. Is the Martinet, even this old, old variant, this, this currently retired Martinet, is capable of withstanding the shots of this small arms fire. Uh, however, um, another man holding a mounted rocket launcher Ooh. raises it up oh, and fuck. prepares to fire at you instead Major as well squads. which flies Boom, forward five and damage hits, and you take five damage because of ap so you tank all of that opening salvo before getting knocked down a bit but uh that is their turn Oh, lovely. I, uh, I would like to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, so, um, Seti, what, like, boosts in lands, and uh, her mech locks in place. She takes the opening salvo, slowly inhaling and exhaling. As, like, as the ground shakes around her, she slowly feels almost heat and color return to the world. A smile spreads across her face. And then she pulls down the glove compartment, yanks something free, a long fuel injection system, and slams that button! I'm gonna activate my core power in the flight unit at the same time. Excellent. I yes. have one move! <laughs> <laughs> Your so Martinet spurs to life as, almost blaring, you hear the rockets just 
bursting on your back as you just start firing it up. Okay, let me... Uh, where do I hit the core power button? Uh, you could do that in oh, your loadout and all that. Yep, there you go. Okay! All right. <clears throat> so, fire begins to spew from the back of her mech as it rises into the air. Let's, um... Yeah. Oh, and before you move, uh, let me just lay down the objectives. I think I know where you're going. Yeah. Spoiler gave you a pretty good rundown. Uh, spoiler, uh, is currently over here. Let me out. Um, over <laughs> okay. here, there's a large prison complex is located just in the other side. Me first. Um, on the other hand, however, uh, there's also a printing facility over here where you can assemble abattoirs that they're going to use for <laughs> the actual operation. Oh, so, that's mm, sick as hell! <laughs> when you break out prisoners, every prisoner squad you send over there, you'll get four grunt abattoir mechs. Whoa. So, um, and last but not least, obviously, there's the capture point you have to get by the end of turn eight. And you notice a radio controls tower located far off in the direction where Asher's already broken through. Oh, lovely. Okay. And with that, that's all the information I've got for you. Go off. I've got a roll for my limited system. So this mission has a gimmick. We only have a certain number of, uh, well, bullets. So yes. anything that I'm rocking right now, I gotta actually roll for the ammo. Yes. So I'm gonna say this out loud. Let's, how many assault rifle rounds? Five, Six. damn. Nice. Six. Six, Six you're because right. of engineering, yeah. Yes. And then Nexus rounds. <laughs> <laughs> As anticipated. Okay, that's yes. completely fine. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna just start taking people out. Um, what what are those markers under the turret? Uh, those markers under the turret. So you can tell yes. these are automated turrets. They are RPV controlled, which means that they uh are always impaired, um, but they oh. also get plus five HP. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's go for the turret first. Um. Alrighty. Seti is going to jet up, move over here, and let's fire. Are you five feet in the air as well? Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, yes. So, <laughs> um, you raise up your gun, lock on, and give me that shot. Let's go assault rifle. Normal shot. Ooh, Ooh, one damage. Uh, one damage. Plus, All ups up the two because of uh, the uh, reliable tag. Plus one d three, four, four damage. Yes. So you fire your assault rifle, rifle, and the martinet hooked up jury rigged because you saw it was beautiful in the module. You managed to get your own really simple high rate of fire module working with Bonnie's help, and you just unload an entire salvo of assault rifle ammo that just falls apart, and you just clip in a fresh magazine immediately Smack as you it fire in. off. Immediately following up Nexuses. Yes. Nice. That'll be a hit. Three damage. Yes. High rate of fire. Four damage. <clears throat> All right. Sounds good. You do four more damage as the Nexus, a drone unit, just flies out and starts firing out a machine gun down at this thing. A, a lot at once is being damaged as the turret is sort of spinning and activating. Uh, anything else you want to do? That was just your boost. Uh, yeah, that was just my boost. Uh, I'd like to skirmish. Alrighty. Uh, let me... Let me get him with another... This will empty my nexuses, but she, using the momentum, spins through the air. Firing again. Hitting. Six damage plus oh. 1d3. Seven damage. That'll be seven damage. As and the last forward. shot from my nexus. Yes. That'll be another hit, plus 1d3. <laughs> <coughs> oh, okay, so that's uh, three more damage. As unleashing as all the fire you can, you manage to start taking this thing and it's looking battered up already. One of the legs is broken as the thing barely manages to turn. You've generated <coughs> a little bit of heat as this starts to build, but all the same, you've fired out an excellent amount. Okay, sick. Uh, overcharge. Okay. <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, weather conditions, that's two heat, not one. Yes. And two heat from the uh, uh, high rate of fire, so you're actually yes. at four heat right I'm now. At, yep. Let's hit that. Uh, so that will be... I believe I should be at six now? Uh, just four. Oh, yeah, four, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. So uh, let's hit it again. All right. 
You fire off again, skirmishing once more. Ooh, uh, she's going to... Hmm. Oh, or are you going to boost? <clears throat> Uh, let me go. Uh, let me use my move for this turn. Fuck it. All right. Yeah. Do your uh, first. Sunny's going to close in on this and uh, oh. Oh, and start stabbing. Okay. She, she <laughs> lets her gun fall to the side, uh, letting the Nexuses fall away, and pulls out two tack knives. Uh, she's just going to go to town on this thing. Yeah, you charge on in. Uh, moving as fast as you can to close the distance, landing and sliding there with your jet boosters as you pull out your tactical knives and just start stabbing in at it. Give me a skirmish roll with that. Stab. <clears throat> stab. Stab him. And. Out and roll your bonus damage. A high I mean, rate of fire. It. You Weapons. stab with three quick movements as you manage to just break again. into it as quick as possible. <laughs> uh, you don't even need to stab it again. It's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, awesome. <laughs> As this thing goes down, the turret disabled, you snap the back of the cord and break it to pieces. Um, and then, uh, at the end of your turn, you take Oh, three who said my turn was over? Oh, <laughs> you have an extra boost! <laughs> I'd like to use uh, I'd like to use my uh, jet booster to move an additional five spaces, drop back down uh, near the ground, but skirmish at the start to fire my assault rifle at the soldiers who shot me earlier. Yeah, sounds good. You'll generate two more heat. Oh, yeah. Um, as you use that free boost, boost back down behind this. It's listed as soft cover, but it is hard cover for you at the bottom, by the way. I should Ooh, excellent. So I'm going to um, I'm going to take the shot when I'm still on top of the tower. OK, yes, yes, for sure. So you fire down. Uh, take the shot at the soldiers. They only have okay. soft cover because of the trait they have. OK, let me give it a roll. Assault rifle. Yeah, kill him. All right, that's a hit. So you do two damage, which is reduced down to one. No, you deal. Three damage. Three damage <laughs> which is reduced to two because of their resistance from being- My threatened. God! But My God. you fire through in two shots from these weapons, manage to fly forward, and two soldiers hit the dirt. As they Lovely. manage to take him down a bit. All right. Okay, uh, end of my turn. All of that was flying. I'm going to take my four heat, or my three heat, yes. and uh, immediately stress. Yes, so you're going to take stress immediately for that. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> so, exposed. with that, you're exposed. All right. I, yeah, stabilize. Uh, probably be good so, um, do we need to take an action to free spoiler? Uh, yes. Okay. Then so, in that case... Actually, uh, because it's spoiler and then we've already kind of broken out, I'll say in this case, uh, you should be fine. The other ones okay. require full actions, but spoiler and grant are going to join the battlefield early. Okay, so I'll um I'll I'll say I end my turn here so we can get Brendan in the game. All right, sounds good. So <clears throat> you in there, and uh, even though it puts you out of cover, uh, suddenly emerging out, you basically turn over and you blast the door open with your uh, with just a few rounds of assault rifle info. I won't take it from you though, in terms of limited, <laughs> um, just flavor. Uh, as you blast almost the hinges as this large security door breaks down. Hey, spoiler, Grant, yeah, a yeah. wave of heat washes over you as um, sort of running through, uh, emerging out, you all sort of see the heat of the sun, not artificial. You'll get heat stroke in this stuff for long, but hopefully this won't take long at all. As all of you struggle on out throughout here, let me just uh, uh, put you on the map and then I'll put Grant down as well. Um, so oh. you guys are in the squad. Uh, while you are in within the squad, I will give you guys resistance to damage. See that? You're sort of okay. That's one of my girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are, Grant. So, uh, this squad, again, if you bring it to the Abattoir and you have full action to take that facility, they'll go there on their turn and use their full actions to get in mechs. But, as uh, they join the battlefield along with you guys, uh, let's see, that was your turn, so I get to go now. So, um... Who am I? Oh, I know who. <laughs> Having watched you just take down that turret, uh, Seti, you turn over and you see Spoiler, and it's like, oh, good, there's Spoiler. And then uh, you hear a banging noise as suddenly ringing out throughout uh, the UEAA Terra tank unit's position yeah. behind a bunch of barriers over there, fires out and launches a tank cannon directly at you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Oof. Oof. So, Boom! Uh, would okay. you like to brace? Uh, hmm. 
Oh, you're exposed, so you'll be taking 12 damage if you don't brace. I will be taking 12 damage. Yeah, I think I got a brace. All right. So, using your reaction, you brace down and sort of raise, like, punch down as the shot hits you and almost blasts you back a little bit as it fires forward, and instead you just take the six damage. You will structure still. Of course. Uh, right. let me do... Minus six. Oop, nope, wrong thing. Uh, four. Dead. Four. Mm -mm. Minus six. What wrong one again. Uh, You're on. looking for orange? Hmm. I've got it. Um, I got the... Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, Four. Yeah. There we go. Uh, There we go. I think I ticked it for you there. Many thanks. Maybe? Yeah. There you go. I think you should have a structure rule. Oh, I'm, wait. I'm I know just going to change this. it on the character sheet itself. Yeah, I got yeah. this. Yeah, if you just change the HP There we go. Yeah, no, yeah, the exterior one's giving me whack shit. All okay. right, that's fair. Um, that's fair. Roll. All right. System Part trauma. Oh, okay, awesome. I'm hoping you get weapon. Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Right. Yeah! Nice. Okay. Oh. The assault rifle detonates. All right, Fuck. yeah. You raised up. So what you did to brace... When it fired, the shot rung out, and you only had a split second of reaction time. As you felt the bead being placed on you, you launched up your assault rifle and threw it up into the air as the shot impacts, taking most of the explosive damage. But the shrapnel from the, the shot and rifle itself almost fly back, piercing into your armor at multiple points. So, uh, that's destroyed. However, uh, just as a piece of information to catch people up, um... There are weapon crates located around this area. As your downtime, you identified how UEA stores mech grade equipment. In these yellow glowing crates, there are other weapons. I will roll to see what's in them whenever you go to one. <laughs> and then we'll roll a 1d6 for the limited charges on those as well. But, uh, yeah, that's its turn. It uh, can't do anything else right now, so it just sits there. Besides, uh, can't even lock on it. I don't think it has the sensors. Nope, okay. So, who wants to go next player-wise? Um, Duck. I think. Uh, I, yeah, I yeah. guess like I think we've been very lucky so far that no communication has been done because they've been panicked. I've been trying to like take care of us. I uh -huh. feel like that luck's gonna run out real soon. So I I think it could yeah. be smart to try to get to that uh, antenna now if uh, if you're down with it, Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So uh, seeing uh, seeing uh, Seti just going in, going fast. Uh, doing her dark work, uh, <laughs> he uh, <laughs> he sort of uh, gets uh, uh, moves onwards to get to his own. Uh, so let's see, I have a speed of three. So um, the uh, the Babbage. So can you uh, re-explain to me how like he's hover hovering already right now, right? Yes. So okay, how high am I? Um, you are about you're on the, you're kind of hovering at ground level, but you can move three in the air and three forward to get over the uh, terrain here. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, then that's what he's going to do. He's going to do... Right. Oh, sorry. One. I am not used to this big a thing. One, I know. two, three. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he's slide forward. Yeah. And he remember... basically just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go on. Uh, and remember uh, when measuring like, uh, like the range of stuff, you measure the space next to you. So you can yeah, pick so, the space next to you, and yeah. then you you uh, mm -hmm. measure your sensors. But yeah, any yeah, space next so. to you. So uh, also one thing I should say, um, uh, at the beginning of your turn, you get mm -hmm. an overshield equal I do. to your grit plus two, which also and, means uh, your two adjacent allies get that overshield too. Yeah. So basically, Farah and the APC will have get a little three. bit of a mileage before they. Yeah. Get there. So yeah, get three overshield. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna move over here. Um, so uh, even though there is a uh, zone around that ra those radio controls, is it possible for me to access it from here? Because it is within my sensors and line of sight. Oh boy! So um, the radio control center over there, it has an area of radius where it can be accessed. Uh, however, mm -hmm. because you have line of sight of it, and mm -hmm. because it's in sensor range, you can roll from here. It is okay. a full tech action 
okay. to uh, do it, but you can do it. Okay, yeah, he's gonna do uh, he's gonna do a full tech action to try it. He's basically just on the comms, uh, addressing Sky Voice, and just uh, gonna <laughs> yeah. start hacking false into reports. the. Uh, yeah, he's gonna start to send false reports on shit like, is it the aliens? Is it not the aliens? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> All right, um, give me that tech action roll then. Okay, uh, so it would be like a pilot tech thing, attack. right? It'd be a tech attack. Oh, it's a tech attack. Okay, interesting. Uh, choo -choo -choo. I'm gonna try reloading Mech. one more time, but yeah, just keep sure, going. Sure. Tech attack. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Okay, uh, can I... So this sounds weird, but like, can I boost immediately to get a to get a third quick action to quick action to quick tech lock on to the radio controls? Yes, I would let you do that. You okay, then he's gonna do that. Uh, so accuracy plus one. Two mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he's gonna yeah, he's just gonna roll. Okay, big money, no whammies. Mm. Okay, that's a fourteen. So close oh, okay. Uh, good news, buddy. That hits. Amazing. So, yeah. you, <laughs> you hack into the radio controls, and Sky Voice, uh, uh, following report, no details detected. False alarm. And then uh, you hear over reports other people trying to call up, but it's being filtered to you. No, Sky Voice, put us online. We're under attack. <laughs> and... <laughs> uh, also, something you notice while you're in, you see this other turret raring to go, but mm -hmm. as you scan it, you notice that interrupting very quickly for until the start of uh, your next turn, um, this turret, it just suddenly shuts down. Oh. Huh. Mm. Its reception being cut off from the radio tower, it simply turns off. Oh, oh lovely. Interesting. Okay. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, just pipes out on the comms again. Sky voice addressed. All right. And uh, that would be my turn. Yeah. So, uh, with that, um, let me see. The, uh, who can I do next? Let's see. Uh, man. My, my next choice was going to be the turret. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with that in mind, the... UEA Gaia unit over here. I'll make that one go next. Um, it arms itself up. It raises up its machine gun, and it's just going to use its turn to prepare an action to fire at the first enemy that comes in range of it. And, uh, yeah. yeah. First enemy that enters line of sight, I should, sh I should say. And yeah. that's its turn. Who's next? Uh, I mean, who's uh, next? Farrah. Yeah, yeah. Farrah. I'll go. Yeah. Farrah. Farrah, uh... Yeah, Farah finishes wrestling with her controls. Like she managed to get them uninverted. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This uh, new mech you're using. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I, I'm ready. Uh, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run up through here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use my jump jet system that I hacked off my old much cooler mech yes you hop so up hop on the roof moving and running up boosting up and then you still have a movement right so if you boost up there rapid oh, jet yeah, second right. need boost then you would have a movement still so you land on top and mm -hmm. start sprinting off in the direction whichever of your choice yeah you as can also use as this thing you can also you use go. your core power for the remainder of the scene to get even more movement if you want to be the <laughs> fastest ever and jump the tank yeah, how I... did you know oh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna use my uh good old power over... up. is it overcharge power up yeah okay sorry i'm new at this mech thing yeah no worries <laughs> so basically in your everest uh, every mech has a core power, which is a once per mission. This is a break in, break out, one attack mission type of thing. Mm -hmm. Your core power will give you accuracy on everything and give you an extra boost every turn to use. So you still have one oh, boost left, yeah. which you could use to land next to any of these guys. Besides the uh, the tank, is every square next to the tank is basically surrounded by terrain already. Mm -hmm. But well, I still find a way. can fly when I boost, and yes. this counts as a boost. Yes. So does that mean I can fly over these things? Uh, yeah, probably so. 
And yeah, I'm on, a, I'm on a size three thing already, so I'm just gonna take a big, with these big froggy chicken legs. <laughs> robot has hop on over to this tank yeah, and come down on it. Lizard. Oh god, so... it's my charged blade. I oh man, yeah. So you leap down on hop, uh, on top, and uh, I think I'll allow it. Let me just, let me just uh, give me a. Um... Oh god, let me let me just do a little roll for you really quick now because I, I can see one thing and I just want to see how it is. I'm gonna do a little agility check for you. Um oh. Uh -oh. Okay. so um <laughs> so uh you run up and leap up in the air. Your mech's kind of a bit finicky as you try to land on this thing basically, since it is technically holding that square as well. And you sort of collapse down onto the ground a bit, and you're knocked prone on this thing as both of you are sort of distracted <laughs> right now. However, Mm -hmm. You finick with that cursing in your mech, and you can still attack. That is not stopped. Oh, okay. Can I take like a full, a full action to attack, even though I'm prone? Uh, it took a boost to get on the roof in the first place, so you can do a skirmish, yeah. which means you can attack oh, with one weapon yeah. mount. Yeah, 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 you can attack with your okay. your heavy charge blade. Just once. Yes, so. I will do that. Take out and the you do get accuracy on my gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you get accuracy because you're power-up. So, plus thumbs up. Accuracy. You manage to go in, <laughs> slash into nice. this thing, and you oh. cut it pretty damn good. As the tank sort of backs a bit, it tries to fire flares at your mech, but they sort of plink off. As the tank, all it can do is hunker down against you as it's... Uh, it manages it's going to use its reaction for the round, or, or this ability once per round, to gain resistance from the damage. So you do half, but you still do five AP damage to this thing. All right. As it sort of just struggles there a bit on the side. And you're engaged with this thing now. Yeah. So I, already used it. I already did its turn, so uh, I'm just going to mark that, but then, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so next up, uh, a squad sort of um, pops out of cover and they run forward through the door uh, and sort of just start clearing and checking out the location. Commands are shouted out off of radio as um, certain people begin to turn and fire. And let me just... Uh, they're going to start by taking an attack against uh, you, um, uh, Farah. However, you have hardcover because you broke in through the hardcover <laughs> line. <laughs> so... They attack against this. They attack against that too. Uh, they still hit with both, so you're going to take four damage total as rifle fire goes in and starts going over to the side. However, on the right flank of the squad, um, one group moves over to the side and they point off in a direction and they raise up their gun and uh, SETI. Um, a soldier equipped with a rocket launcher aims for it and attempts to fire directly at you. There you go. Uh, but they fucking miss as you manage to swim <laughs> off to the side, pulling yourself a bit to the way as they almost hit off and hit the wall behind you instead. Oh my god. Uh, well, I'm still flying, so I get to move two spaces. Um, uh huh. Hmm. Sunny's so gonna look at the squad in front of her, and like, for a split second, she considers diving back into cover, but she's. Oh, hold on. I'm in the squad. Could you uh, pull my uh, Martinet to two spaces forward? Yes. Uh, like, yeah, go. towards yeah, combat. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice. Uh huh. You pull yourself forward to act as an efficient shield, I would imagine. A oh, yes. Target. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you begin to clear more space, uh, uh, it's who else can go? I think. You know who's going to go next? Um, uh, I've already marked. You've already gone. You've already gone. Uh, you know who hasn't gone? Uh, are your allied NPC, the Paddy Wagon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, Lanbao, uh, kind of just makes a grumble as he sort of drives forward. Prisoners are out. All right, good. As, uh, he brings the Paddy Wagon on forward, and, uh, he moves over this way, uh, with a boost, and then turns the machine gun and starts firing off at the, uh, new assembled, um, oh, actually what he's going to do instead. Uh, he starts firing off the um, fire at the tank in order to suppress it. 
So, now that this is suppressed, if it does any of that shit, it can fire at it. Okay. And it, uh, it unloads off there, so anyone who wants to get on board the uh, APC next turn can. Is that uh, one of your partners too, spoiler? Nope, never seen him in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who does get stuff this turn, I realize, just to keep in mind? Uh, Gran and spoiler, you guys get stuff as well. Oh, yeah. So I'll keep that in mind, but uh, uh, now it's an enemy turn first, so... Uh, that one's stunned, so it does nothing. Uh, this one's stunned, so it does nothing. <laughs> and this one's stunned, so it does nothing. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, this squad over here is instead going to run on up. And it's, th you see the people there trying to start flip over. They kind of spread out and try to start, begin to almost flip over the vehicles at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, and with that, uh... So, Grant and Spoiler, uh, you all get your own actions and shit to do, but um, you're, I'm going to have you all basically move as a unit unless you specifically break off. So I'm going to start I'm the riders' turn. Off. All right. <laughs> In that case, you go first, Spoiler. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Um... See you guys. Run over here. <laughs> <Are you going? laughs> Lil Nas X Rodeo on uh, my one of my girlfriends. <laughs> All right, spoiler, uh, you feel hands wrap around your waist as you're sort of clung on to, you don't really feel it per se, more so you just feel the weight being pulled. Uh, and uh, yeah, spoiler, you kind of cling on a bit off to the side and around because your rockets, the rockets are burning pretty hot right now. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Um, can I do something about that? Uh, yes, you can. I do not have a mech in this combat. Yes, but I will allow you win on a, another person to use your abilities on them. I will do that. Um, okay. She, uh, uh, Seti's problem is heat right now, correct? Mm -hmm. I've got heat and exposed. Hold on, I'll, I'll throw exposed up. If you want, if you can get rid of the exposed, I will owe you my entire life. Uh, unfortunately, oh, yeah? Can. No, I can't. So, but, but you can clear your heat. heat. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's rigged vents, I believe. Mm -hmm. Rig vents. Full action to rig the vents. And doing that, uh, basically, uh, Seti, your heat is reduced down the two, uh, to zero. Ooh, lovely. Alrighty. Thank you. Uh, How was prison? It wasn't too bad, but uh, keep in mind, this is one of the many benefits of letting Spoiler ride you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this tank is going to prep an action to fire at the first person that comes in range of it. Uh, Grant, it's you and the Riders' turn, unless you want to split off. Uh, Sam is, Sam Sam's is with inside. The Sam's with the Riders right now. All right, Sam, what's your plan for getting out of here? Well, all right, buddy, I think we should go get ourselves a mech. I bet hunks of junk? Oh, it might be hunks of junk, but something's better than nothing, right? Fair it's enough. better than being a squishy human that'll get turned to pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, Sam just kind of speaks up. She says that, but then she goes run off and goes clinging on to that thing. She's gonna get her ass killed. Ah, yeah, she's more different. robot than man. She's she's probably about the same amount of robot as man. She'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you and uh, Sam are gonna move up as you stick to the squad, and you know the prisoners moving up. Uh, Grant, if you have any, I'd say you basically got equipment by scavenging, uh, rummaging through the police area. Uh, um, let me see what I have in my pockets. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's probably not much. Uh, hold on. Just opening the character sheet. The uh, riders are going to start shooting some guns they acquired at the uh, soldiers over there. They raise up and shots start ringing out. A disorganized mess. They start missing all the shots. Um, but uh, despite no shots really ringing through... Afterwards, they're going to get inside the paddy wagon, seeing a door slide open. And you can join them or stick outside or not. That's fine. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to hop inside the paddy wagon for now. Sure thing. Oh, Carl yeah. does not yearn death again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, fair. <laughs> it's it's smart. Uh, you do, however, um, you can fire your medium signature if you'd like first. 
Uh, yeah, I'll do. I'll go ahead and do that. Sure. I got it. I got it for you. I, I got it actually. It. It's oh, okay. nice. It's working for me now. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. I don't think the bonuses or anything for that. I yep. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh my God, I'm Carl. Pistol man. It's fine. <laughs> this is you. You raise up, fire some shots. You're like, ah, fuck this, and you get on in. Man, I want to see how your rolls are when you get in a mech. <laughs> it's just like, bad. It's just, but, in, but imagine if it starts getting good. It'd be inherent talent. Suddenly you'd be like, I was born to pilot a robot. <laughs> and you're sucking ass outside of it the entire session. Come on, he's, man. He's, he's a big man who's been in a small cell for a yeah, very long time. Absolutely. He's he just his legs. Um, hey, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, Asher. Yeah. You notice some of the soldiers start flipping over. Some of these other soldiers um, uh, hug the cover and raise up their weapons, and mm -hmm. uh, they take a prepared action, and they prepare to fire at you if you go further into the facility, but it seems they're hesitant. They hold their ground, but they also don't budge. All right. It'll come down to you in your next turn. Uh, but uh, last uh, thing, uh, the turret is stunned. It can't do anything. Ah, oh, yes, of course. It will be okay <laughs> next round after Duck goes. So if Duck, uh, no, actually, it would. The radio tower gains controls at the beginning of uh, the next round, so it'll be good next round, not at the beginning of Ducks. Okay, so with that in mind, we end the first round. We start it from scratch. Enemies go first. Um, with that in mind, who do I want to do? Uh, okay, the um, the first unit to undo they start pushing and uh this apc vehicle comes back online as it's unstunned and no longer prone as they push it over um you see uh some of the guys get on inside of this thing and then the apc turns and turns and turns and leaves. <laughs> uh, you notice the soldiers over there uh, start to get, like, freak out as they start shouting and uh, the container command seems to be breaking down ever so suddenly as uh, they call out for more support. Sky Voice, hook us up with an AWACS! Get us someone real, goddammit! <laughs> um, as uh, you sort of Turn over. Uh, who would like to go next? Uh, I want to go last on this turn. I'm just yeah. going to do nothing. So it's okay. somebody else. Yeah, I can, I can right. go next. No one else has any plans. I mean, I guess uh, yeah. actually uh, Jackson. Uh, ja yeah, yeah, Farrah. Yeah, Farrah. <laughs> yeah, Jackson, go for it. Yeah. So Jackson, uh, to clear prone, you just have to use your standard movement to get up. Uh, so, well, I'll go ahead and do that. Alrighty. So. I don't know how to clear the icon though. But... I can do it. <laughs> Thanks. No worries. All right. So I'm standing up near slash on this thing. Yes. Uh, you managed to write yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a barrage on this. this okay. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Pick two weapons and just use them. Yeah. Two weapons. Mobile mounts. right in close. Yeah. So I'm uh using the heavy charge blade and then hitting it with a big old robot fist. All right, sounds good. So, uh, you raise up your um, uh, heavy charge blade, hooked on to the loose limb that has almost a bayonet jammed into it, as you just, uh, give me a roll. Oh, oh, yeah! oh, oh nice. And nice. you have brutal, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, oh, damn. Oh god, you have brutal? Damn. Okay, yeah, so um, you immediately uh, punch into this thing, uh, and that means that uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to use, start of the round, it's going to use its this entire round's use of hunker down to try to reduce that again, but this time you carve into it and peel away a section of armor. You can almost see a bit of the machinery hanging beneath it as this thing is almost sort of rocketed by your uh, attack. Uh, now... Think about bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you still have another attack to make. Yeah. I'm gonna jam this robot's fist into that hole. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh. 
You try Damn. to push it down in, but the uh, metallics of the tank almost seem to withhold as you can't really get the full mech hand inside. Mm. Too tight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the tank's gonna go now. As it, uh... It, it desperately turns over as uh, it's gonna use a barrage on you. Uh, the mounted uh, machine gun on top spins over and just starts firing into you. Uh, it's you are engaged, so it gets a negative to this. Let's see what happens? Wait. Uh, by the way, you have accuracy on all your attacks still due to your. Yes. Oh that's yeah. That's true. Wait. Yeah. Roll another one d six. You might have actually hit there. Yeah. Oh no. Mm -hmm. That would be very important. Yeah. You gotta keep that in mind. Mm hmm. Because if you can kill this thing, then I won't be able to shoot at you at all. One. Yeah, no, that would still miss. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah, the machine gun, since you're so close range, it looks up and it just fires into you, blasting you the best it can, as the turret itself attempts to whip around and get an angle at you as well, as it's going to fire at you with its tank cannon now. Uh, inaccurate. Oof. And... Ooh. As the machine gun fire bellows in, the tank cannon manages to get enough clearance to get you on the side, launching out, gonna... and then close range, you're blasted by this thing. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brace. Yeah. That. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you brace, uh, raising up that shield on your side and almost shoving it in front as the blast rocks you back, but you manage to avoid a direct hit into your cockpit. As uh, you take, uh, you're down to two HP now. All right, so that's this turn. However, you can't do anything else. So, um, mm -hmm. oh boy, uh, who next? Uh, Duck, do you have any ideas or? Um, I guess I can ask a question. How do yeah. how do the uh, radio control look on my end? Is it looking like they're they're trying to like get back control or? Uh, uh it looks like. You, you disrupted the systems, and you have to do full action to disrupt them again this turn. Like, this is an active process. This is an um, active process, yeah. yeah. Also, I realized you had overshields from Duck, so I just gave you uh, free health back. But yeah. Um, mm, nice. Yes, so uh, you could have to spend another full action to uh, do that this turn. Uh, don't forget, um, if you do spend that full action, you still have Logic Probe as well. So you can just infix, inflict scan or lock on an enemy every turn. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, uh, I was just looking at that. Yeah. And also, um, uh, the turret uh, doesn't get, doesn't come back online until the end of your turn, next turn, Bryn. Mm -hmm. So the, there are still benefits of you going la last if you want. Though uh, I'm not gonna hold you to that. Do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Jesus, Brendan, Brendan. Brendan! What the fuck? Sorry. What did I do? I don't know. You're reading your mind for a second. second. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I think so, Christian said that the turret was back at the top of this turn yeah or was no, that... no okay, i didn't need it that time yeah, yeah. it's that's there yeah, that's why i was worried because like it's just back so i'm kind of like oh, yeah, you know. take... yeah so yeah if you want to go for it yeah, just fucking do it yeah yeah okay right. so uh yeah no uh second verse uh same as the first it's gonna take attack the radio tower and try to keep it scrambled all right sounds good give me that tech attack okay no bonuses or bad things let's try Ugh, that's an eight doesn't work Nope, that does not work. Okay, uh, then he's gonna. Uh, you know what? Uh, right now, it's right. It's what's uh, right in front of him. So he's gonna logic probe the tank that's given us trouble on this side and uh, uh, give it uh, give it a lock on. Sounds good. All right, tank's locked on. Alrighty, good stuff. Okay, so um, after that, uh, I'm gonna do that turret now. So, the turret arc up arcs itself up, and uh, I still don't think it's in rain with its machine gun on you, because uh, it does not have line of sight. So yeah, no, it, it can only do one thing here. Um, but does it have sensor range? Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, first thing it's going to do is uh, it is going to lock on to Farah, and uh, then... It's going to use a skirmish action, and its target, what it's going to do, you might notice that it has some missile pods listed on it, and it's Oof. going to use those right now as it starts arcing and looking across at multiple different people, um, mm -hmm. and it's going to target you, you, and you. Yeah. Uh, if it so, targets mm -hmm. uh, Farah? 
uh, one that jacks mm -hmm. it at AFK for a bit, but remember, uh, due to Brace, uh, it has difficulty one targeting. Yep, uh, that is true. Yeah. Uh, it'll consume the lock-on to even it back out. So, uh, it is going to fire at all of you now. Yes. Uh, let me just uh, add that note back on Farah. Um, oh, Farah also has... Oh, okay. Farah's uh, still going to have soft cover, cover from this direction. Yeah, because of combined so, yeah. All right, all right. So, uh, with that in mind, it's back down to negative one for all of these as it uh, fires out. Oh, no. All right, and misses Farah, crits Duck, and hits Seti as well, Seti. who is still exposed. Mm -mm. I'll put exposed on you so that it's known. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so that's eight damage to Seti, four to... Um, uh, and one, one to duck because of overshield, but yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. And then Mister. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It also has uh, it does reliable one. two and knock back one, so Farah can't be knocked back, but will still take two reliable damage, and everyone's knocked back one. <laughs> no, <laughs> the Babbage, it's floating away. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, uh. Oh wait, actually, um, hang on. Seti used brace as well. Yep. So uh, um, that's that won't hit. That'll miss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hit. yeah. All right. Yep. Never mind. You're good. Lovely. Seti. JK. You still take four damage from the reliable, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. There you go. <laughs> okay. So who wants to go next? Um. Uh. You want. You still want to go last, right, Jay? Or. Uh. My action is literally going to be quick action, raise adjustable armor. That's it. Nothing, nothing priority there. So I'd say uh, if you have no, an idea. Now I say, uh, do it maybe because the, we, I yeah, might get shot by these guys. You're yeah. about to get fucking probably maybe potentially unloaded on by these guys. You could at least like, yeah. like, uh, like it'll yeah. I w no, I would, I'll do that. Yeah, I would. I would like a, a boost, like a burst. I can't. You can't overcharge? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, I no. guess. Yeah, yeah. Braced, okay. yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I can only literally take the action to raise okay. the adjustable. Yeah, yeah raise the armor, because um, fuck these guys. I can, yeah. technically, I can technically break line of sight if I really want to, if I duck behind. If I duck back here, is that breaking line of sight? Uh, it would not be. From from a lot okay. of things, but not the soldiers. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna... Wanna... I'm just yeah. gonna... Mm. Yeah. Maybe, get, hold on, one, two, three. Getting you at least a little bit more defensive before all these Faco turns is, like, pr like one, priority. Two, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I could fly into the area with the tanks, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know? Oh, that uh, would uh, shoot your ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll take my turn, and then I'll just quick action raise adjustable armor. Yeah, okay, yeah. sounds good. Mm -hmm. You'll still get a movement too, but yeah. Or I think no. Wait. Oh, I don't think. That. Do I? Yeah. No, I think you only get one quick action, no movement. Yeah, I only get yeah, yeah. one quick action, so I'm gonna I'm gonna raise adjustable armor, and that's. Alrighty. It. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right. With that in mind, um, we'll all click your turn, and then we'll be good. Yep, you're good. Okay. So you click that adjustable armor on. Your Martin A armor sort of shifting and pushing itself around to block from the long range fire. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, next up, I'm gonna do one of those fucker turns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so many targets, holy shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the target um, rich environment. So, you're four away from them. Yeah. So, in that case. Uh, wait, hang on, you're an 8 because you had armor against that last Yeah. Uh, yeah. it's, they're going to fire their primaries at you, because their primary, primary range is range 5, and you'll be within the adjustable armor range, so you will not get the bonus from this one. Fair. Um, so they're just gonna fire two blank shots at you. Damn! One hits, that's 4 damage. Jeez. That's 4 damage. That one is... Hits, that's five. Eight, five. Okay. 8 damage total, eight damage. that's a structure. Structure. Jesus. Gosh. No. Destroy a weapon system. Oh, system Probably. system. Oh, system system. Okay. Uh, That's yeah, it. I'll handle that. I'm gonna go. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Choices Many choices. 
Why do you have someone hanging off of you? <laughs> <laughs> let's hit the uh, let's hit the personalizations, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. That'll be a little uh, less HP every time you refresh, but you can do that. Yeah. Wait, wait. So uh, what? So adjustable armor. It basically any attack uh, farther outside than range, of range five. Yeah. Uh, the soldiers are range six. Uh, no, it's the remember people can fire from the edges of their. Uh, oh, icon. oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's just like uh, the. It looks a little. The weird squad looks like that. a size three, like size two, yeah, when they're yeah. actually like okay, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me. Let me toggle destroy. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. There you go. So you're down to nine. All right. So uh, you get rocked as um, they blow off your personalized scope, Seti. <laughs> <laughs> the mono eye. At your head. The, the mono eye gets blown off. Damn, That's... they really hate you, Chaka. <laughs> and then uh, that was their rifle fire. Uh, they're going to shoot their uh, anti armor strike at Farah. Which fair does have hard cover against this. Ooh, Ooh nice. Miss. Okay, uh, who's Let's next? Try. All right. Uh, so uh, Farah's went, ducks went, uh, Seti's went. So I guess it's my turn now, pretty mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Or uh, So uh, what's the action I would have to take to, in order to uh, flip this APC? Uh, it actually the way it works is on their turn they can flip it. Yeah. Um. Like on on the APC's turn, I've been doing it slightly it slightly different last time uh, yeah. because I kind of forgot. But yeah, you would just if you were standing next to them on their turn, they could choose to flip as a movement. Uh, can't I use uh, a, a, sta a full action to uh, stabilize and clear a condition for something next to me? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, because what I want to do is obviously I want to flip the. I want to flip the APC. For them. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to move up there, and I'm going to uh, just full action. Uh, flip the, flip the APC for them. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna point at it and Get say going, kids. and just last chance as I start moving more on a roll. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. You move, and in response. They fire at you. Alright. You feel a rocketing of a blast against you as your ar it goes through your armor and blasts away 5 HP. Alright. Okay. Fuck. For some reason my my stuff isn't working very well. Alright. So 5 HP, so that's uh I'm now at 9. Uh, I think yeah. that's math. Yeah. Okay. Or, uh 8 actually, but yeah. 8, okay. Uh so uh well, sucks for them. Uh, cause what I'm gonna do now is they did that, so I'm going to, uh, overcharge. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Gave Die. Them a chance. So, uh, that's two heat, so I gotta change that to heat. Uh, and, uh, as I boost at them, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, they're, they're technically, like, bigger than this, right? But I can occupy their yeah, space. Yeah, but you can, you can occupy their spaces, yes. Yeah, so. and, uh, whenever the, uh, Mars boosts, uh, I get a free ram, so, uh... Let's see, I'm just gonna boop boop boop. Is there some reason my macros aren't working on this thing either, so uh, let me find the uh, melee, just normal melee range, so boop, roll. Alright, you hit, so roll 1d6 damage. 1d6 plus 2. Mm -hmm. You do uh, the siege ram that I have right now, so yeah, plus 2. Yeah, that's right. Yeah! Yeah, uh, get those normal humans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> normal men. Uh, oh wait, shit. Um, I uh, here's here's something. Yeah. Uh, strength and number. Uh, immune to grapple, ram, knockback, and stunned. Oh. So oh. as you basically try to ram, and they all just kind of hit the dirt there. Oh damn. Okay. Wait, let me uh, yeah. should have killed them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. This is what I was talking about. Moral plausibility. Moral plausibility has <laughs> been established. <laughs> Next turn. Next turn. Uh, well, seems like a good enough thing. They are engaged with you, however. I'm going to have mm -hmm. them take some more shots um, as they uh, raise up and try to fire at you here. Um, that's a miss. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a hit. To reduce to zero because you have armor. armor. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then, uh, so armor, their small arms fire just 
plinks off of your armor. And then they fire up an AP and you just knock it aside with the sword. Uh, and then you just stare down at them. Reckoning <laughs> comes later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me just let me just uh, take these guys off the combat right now because uh, their crew's left. Um, all right. So uh, that was an enemy turn. Who wants to play next? Uh, our APC has yet to go, right? As well as yes. spoiler and uh, yeah, Farrah yeah. has gone, but uh, yeah, APC hasn't yet. So uh, Paddy Wagon turns. And it uh, decides to just uh, go for it as it uh, charges straight <laughs> forward. Yeah! <laughs> and uh, it's going to start firing its uh, machine gun as it goes. Uh, firing out this light machine gun at the soldiers here. They have soft cover. As uh, It's mostly just shots for the sake of it. But after it reaches this point, um, it turns up this way. And uh, it starts driving through, moving on this way. And uh, <laughs> as it starts going through, uh, having prepared an action to fire, uh, this one's going to fire its light machine gun at it. Uh, so let's see. Also, Paddy Wagon's got reliable on those uh, soldiers. Yes, that's true. Damn. So uh, it does manage to take out one guy since uh, they have resistance to non AoE attacks. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, the light machine gun fires at the Paddy Wagon. It manages to hit. Uh, boy. Okay, yeah, so the paddy wagon takes five, but otherwise it's fine. Alrighty. How much HP does the paddy wagon have? Uh, the paddy wagon has 16 HP. Oh, okay. And okay. it has Deal two structure. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's, it's actually pretty question. well quite plated for this. Yeah? What's up? What does APC stand for? <laughs> Armored Personnel Carrier. Thank you. Armor piercing curry. <laughs> <laughs> a I'm pretty curry car. My... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, so uh, let's see who goes next. You know what? As a follow up, that uh, APC that just fired is gonna try to do the same thing there. Uh, it's gonna fire the light machine gun at it, and as it sort of does that. Uh, it's also going to suppress afterwards. So let's see. Uh, you hear a curse from Lunbao as he screams out, Damn you, egg bastards! I'll kill you, just like I did years ago! You're going down! <laughs> <laughs> and, Who is uh, this freak? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, are you sure we made the right move? <laughs> <laughs> Sam just like, I don't know, buddy. Oh, boy. I, we're getting rocked pretty hard in here. Uh... Uh, you hear Lambal scream out the back right now as he sort of yells, Hey! Hey, troops! Their viewports! Fire at them! Uh, people start lining up on viewports in order to try to fire out from outside the APC vehicle. Mm. Uh, let me just fire two shots from this primary and these riders. Uh, miss. Oh. Got this hard cover, too. Uh... Oh, okay, that hits. So... Some small our fire, fire manages to do two damage to this thing. Uh, Grant, would you like to shoot as well? Sure, I'll I'll take another crack with my rifle. All right. Or my, my signature, my medium signature. All right. Uh, just put you down on the map, and then there you go. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> this is Damn. fucking insane. Throw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You see, you see, um, Sam look over to you. Are you doing okay today, buddy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> he kind of pats you on the back. Hey, man. We all have those days when we can't do it, you know? That's not a slight against you as a person. You're doing good, buddy. Uh, but anyways. Uh, he sort of climbs up on the edge there, uh, looks across the way, and then pulls out his own weapon and sort of uh, arcs across. And let me just uh, place down Sam really quick as uh, Sam moves across, pulls out a rifle he found um, from the uh, UAA basically storerooms here. Let's Sam stop that, stop getting in trouble. And uh, he's just gonna fire at it. Uh, he fires, misses completely and kind of turns around. Yeah, yeah, see, like, days. Yeah, yeah, we all have a bad days, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, that's just how it I mean, is. what, it's been how many years since the war? I'm tired, you know? <laughs> you all sit back in the APC as 
<laughs> that ends that session of basically firing. All right, so uh, let's see. I think next up we have. Uh, I'm just clearing your turn really quick, Loha. But uh, spoiler. Yeah. Uh, or no, that was. Was that not a? Ally no, that turn? was that was an ally turn. Yeah. So um, let me see. Uh, the UEA vehicle over here uh, turns on over this way. Uh, and kind of moves down a little bit and turns, getting line of sight. And then it'll uh, aim over here, and it's going to try to fire a tank at this shell, this one. Uh, it's going to have soft cover against this attack, so... Okay. Can I just applaud you for living your best fantasy of having tanks and APCs fight mechs and shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm having a great time. Um, yeah, the tank rocks through, and the APC shakes a bit. As uh, it takes its first structure wound, it's like ah Ooh. shit. Um, as uh, yeah, it manages to stay up, but it's gonna take some system trauma. Let's see, a system of my choice. All right, what systems does it even have on here? Uh, air conditioning. Okay. Air conditioning <laughs> is a system. Yeah, you know, like it kind of makes sense. I mean, uh, in this heat, <laughs> in this heat, in this heat economy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll make that choice. Who wants to go next? Spoiler, you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to start blasting. Hi. Uh, here comes... Oh, where'd my... Do, do, do your, like... Does your RPG have, like, fucking splash on it? Um... I can't remember. I think? Your heavy signature uh, weapon has ordnance. It does not have splash. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Damn, but that's fine. Uh, you do have frag I do grenades. That. I d yeah, do. Can, do you have a fucking arm of like a god? Range oh, I five. Am, I am You're in range five. Oh yeah, let's do it. But first, I'm gonna go invisible. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Quick action, go invisible, then you can toss a frag grenade. Look, it, your other arm has some hydraulics up near the shoulder, anyways. Yeah, it's more. It's like a. It's like a. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, so, you know what I mean. Oh, and they're both inside of the radius there, so both squads Whoa. need to pass an agility right now. Nice. Dang, it would be a problem if I felt bad about killing people. <laughs> <laughs> um, where is my... Oh, Frank, right there it is. Mm -hmm. So, uh, basically, just use that, and I'm going to have them make a roll here. Two of these. Uh... Ooh. Okay, so both of them passed the save. Uh, so they just kind of hit the dirt, all of them assembled, and the grenade just sort of blows off harmlessly. It was all worth right. the shot. It was worth the <laughs> shot. Was. You know, like, God, it's kind of their fault for, you know. <laughs> uh, where is this like, next unit? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, they, they, they flee now um, <laughs> after reaching the edge there. Uh, that squad's gone too. I'll clear them. I'm just gonna clear these guys out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, last squad. Um, they're going to turn over and try to get some firing on Farah as they uh, fire off primary shots. Though you're gonna have hard cover here. Why you roll so good? I just don't know, man. Like I fucking I, fire, baby. Why you roll so baby. good? Why I roll so bad? <laughs> Oh, nice. Uh, miss. Okay, so you're down to one, Farah, and uh, in that case, the anti-armor guy turns over and tries to shoot you. Hey, man. And ah. hits! So you take Damn. five damage, which drops you down to uh... Farah's... Are you... Do you still have the brace in play? No, you didn't... Because yeah, you're brace. braced, so... Yeah, brace is still in play, yeah. Okay, in that case, oh. let me roll. Okay, that doesn't hit. I don't think so. Because you have some good... Uh, yeah, 10 of ten Yeah, no. So. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah you're All right, never mind. All the shots, but you managed to duck down and dodge behind the cover. Not even fucking close, baby. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, top of round three, player's turn happens. So okay. things are kind of evolving, but it's still your turn, and you can pick whoever wants to go first. So we Save either... Yeah, no, I can, re I can theoretically take a turn and reduce the number of people who are going to get turns, but... Do we want to do that or the machine gun? What are you guys feeling? Um, uh, th there's a lot of options right now. Like Farah can take out this fucking tank before it like yeah. just hits yeah. you with a t like a 
tank shell taking out your re- like the rest of your structure, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like it's this thing of like uh, it's a dangerous game where it's just like you could probably take your turn first, Seti, stabilize, yeah. and then just boost to like shoot people, right? I can um so I can actually I've got uh enough actions that I can move forward, blow up some of the enemies, and then decide if I'm gonna stabilize later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and um, uh, Jay, for for you to know, uh. Yeah. uh breaking open and uh, grabbing loot crates is a free action. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> I rub my hands oh. together. Um, yeah. So I, 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 yeah. I, I think I'm with... Oh, man. So, like, the, if the, if one of those squads gets to go and lights me up, I'm fucked. Uh, yeah. Same thing yeah. with the tank. That's so I think... I think just go fucking bonkers ape shit. Yeah, I think that's just, my yeah. only just choice. Uh-huh. Just okay. Go. Just have to going. reduce the number okay. of enemies. <laughs> uh... She's flying straight at them and grabbing the loot crate up. Can I grab it on the way past? Or is it a... Uh, it is a go into the square type of thing. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, She's going to move over here and pull out the knives. All right. It's time to reduce their numbers a bit. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. Let's... Uh, uh, oh, right. There's an order for these things. Mm-hmm. First movement. Uh, first oh, thing I'm doing... Ah! I'm going to be back. There you go. Overcharge. Yes. That's you how we're starting this. That's four heat. one heat, yeah. Okay. She's just gonna move over here. Skirmish. Yes. One. Hit. Oh, I don't know why I targeted the cover, but yes, you, you oh, hit yeah. them. Sorry, hold on. They only have eight evasion. Two. Uh, also a hit, yes. I'm the uh, devil on your shoulder. This much you extra damage. Tear. Three <laughs> extra damage. So that'll be, uh, all together, two, uh, oh, it didn't calculate damage because it said it was a miss. Should I just yeah. roll the dice? Yeah, roll, uh, 2d6 plus one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Plus one. Boom! Okay, so that Ten. is a total of, uh, uh, 12 actually because of 12. the damage in there. Yeah, so, uh, which squad? Uh, the lower squad, the one that's been fucking us up to, up to okay. this point. Uh, you cut them down bit by bit, reducing that damage out. Uh, there's one guy left standing in that squad by the time you finish. Damn. Okay. As you just turn into a flurry of blades. Okay, that was my overcharge skirmish, normal skirmish. All right, yeah. Tack knife. Now, Tack knife. one thing to keep in mind. If you normal skirmish, you can't use a full action to clear exposed. Oh. Because you get one full action or two quick actions. Okay, yes. so in that case, no uh, no uh, normal skirmish. I'm going to activate yes. my free boost. Yeah. Sure and thing. skirmish. Yeah, and that's <laughs> nice. what we saw there. That was a six, but all the same. Okay. You can you have the other one still. And you have the let's other go for another one. Yeah. All right, that hits. Uh, minimum damage kills this guy. Okay. So that entire squad is disabled. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you so hit. he moves back into this space. What's in the crate? This will affect my. This will oh affect boy. the uh, trout population. Well, <laughs> as as we must see. Uh, let me uh, roll, roll the, the gotcha. crate weapon table. <laughs> uh, Vulture DMR. Oh, so, uh, can I take a look at uh, this this sweet little weapon? Yes, uh, I'll read it out for you. So I. Oh, lovely. Uh, the Vulture DMR. Um, it is range 15, kinetic 1d6 plus 1. Uh, it has accurate overkill and heat 1. Accurate over... Oh, 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 my God. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure, uh, sure. I, Look how I, big it is. I slam stabilize. Uh, let's clear my heat, get rid of mm-hmm. exposed, and uh, yeah, that's a good turn. Yep. I'll All clear right. your heat if you want to do something else. No, you can... Uh, you either when you uh stabilize you can either restore hp or clear heat so at this point like yeah you could just use the overcharge one and that'll probably help too yeah let me uh let me let me just hit clear heat hold on uh where is oh i already cleared it don't worry about it Ooh, nice okay so yep uh i hit the stabilize i hunker into place i lock in my new weapon i uh i get fucking ready (laughs) all righty so you lock it in let's also see how much ammo it has really fast uh, oh. <laughs> okay, six ammo. Uh, seven Jesus. ammo. Uh, also, I've still got one movement left. That's true. <laughs> so, um, uh, where should I go? 
get me closer so I can shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> She'll fucking do it. <laughs> She's getting in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so you get an all up close and in their faces. Oh, then. uh, sorry, I'm I'm gonna be a little bit of a coward. Am I still uh -huh. out of sight from this thing? Uh, yes. Okay, wait, lovely. Wait, let me see. Uh, yes, yes, you would be. Okay, moving right here. <laughs> I'll uh mark the entryway here. Uh, there you go. That's how you know the gate's been burst open. All right, so uh, top of the round. Um, uh, this UAA uh tank is going to go now. Um, and uh. I believe you you th said this would probably be what it tried to do. Uh, it is going to fire its tank cannon at you, Seti. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. But Oof. I stabilized! Oof. Jesus yeah, Christ. So you're, take five damage. You're five alone. damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, the machine gun, however, is uh, going to turn on its mount and try to fire at Pharah. Uh, it is... Wait. Hang on. Um... Really important role. It's engaged right now. So, um... Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. That doesn't hit you. Oh! Oh, okay, nice. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, Lovely. The machine gun's gonna turn around and try to attack Farah, Which no, also misses. Dude, okay, Farah is living, living <laughs> the best life, homie. God, uh, does it... Imagine it turns its fucking cannon towards you, Seti, and Farah just, like, fucking grabs it and, like, turns the thing <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> so it misses. Uh, oh, Farah, describe sick. how you being engaged stops this thing from doing shit, basically. No, you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grab it and turn it. You grab it, turn the cannon. When the machine gun tries to hit you, you just raise up your shield and tank the shots. Uh, Farrah, do you want to go? Yeah. I think it's All only right. fair. So, <laughs> the way I see it, as a new player, the way I see it, you've got two options here. You can either stabilize to go up to 13 by spinning a repair point, or you could just, and, and maybe overcharge to attack once, or you could barrage. Just, just go like fucking nuts. Face. You've got initiative. You've oh got gosh. overcharge. Uh -huh. Just oh, go eight. fucking ape, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna barrage this thing. All right. Okay. Fuck it up. Open. Fuck it up. So make your first attack of the barrage. All right. Let's try the heavy Do it. Uh, oh wow. Oops. Sorry. Uh. Go with this. <laughs> Okay, a miss. Damn. Miss. He fired and he missed. You try sure, to cut this missed. thing, tank hit, and the miss. tank sort of like spins on its treads, and the <laughs> attack ends up hitting another area. Uh, but you sort of raise up, and uh, you've got you've got raw yeah, mass. Hit hands. him again. Oh. Yes. yes, damage. So you raise up your other arm which has the attached shield and you just slam it down crushing down on this thing it's it's almost stuck in place it's limping around it's going to use it's hunker down it's, it's <laughs> the fresh part of the round to do its best it it's low but it's not done for oh, yet Darling, i hate this guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah overcharge all right yeah Farrah flips the various switches that Turn this stupid mech into super mode. <laughs> <laughs> you take two heat from your first overcharge. He has tried this before. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a taste of my uh, charge point. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh skirmish. Hit it. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. There so. We go. With that, uh, describe how you destroy this thing. Farah is sick of missing this thing, so she literally climbs on top of it awkwardly with this weirdly shaped mech and saws through it with the blade. <laughs> <laughs> God. You successfully saw this thing open, and it breaks down on the spot. Uh, oh. Overcharge, does that give me... It gives you heat. I put it on the sheet for you. It's You've got two. two free moves right. still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the boost. I will. Okay. Yeah. So if you want, you can move next to these soldiers right here, just so you're engaged, so you keep your soft cover. Yep. So smart. Yeah. And sexy. But then... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move right here. Alrighty. 
that yeah. one guy doesn't have a line of sight on me. That's smart, yes. <laughs> I was going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Okay. Good shit. I guess I'll just punch. <laughs> Try and yeah. punch. Whack them all. Yeah, you me. slide on over and start raising up, ready to fight once more. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, it's their turn now. So, uh, fa faced with these overwhelming odds, they're going to... Um, and... Uh, uh, they're gonna first. They see you slide up, and they're not happy about that. So um, they go in and like. Uh, let's see. Let's see how they do. Oh, oh, Ooh. oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, first shot missed. Second one. Okay, second oh. one hits. You oh. are uh, structured, as Damn. you a bunch Ooh. of small arm fires flies into you, and let's see what that does to you. If you reduce your HP to zero, uh, you'll get a pop-up that'll ask you to take oh, structure that's damage. How I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then after that, uh, it'll show up, and there's just be a, if if it asks you for anything else, it'll ask you to make a separate check in the chat box. So let's see. Click that. What happens? Lancing blow. Okay, you're just impaired until the end of your next turn. That's okay. Yeah. That's it's just a bunch of far from powers. a bad result. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, and now, um, now that they've had their fill, uh, Seti, they turn over to you again. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. And, uh, they're gonna try to fire here. Uh, they are, um, going to... They're engaged. Yep. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah! I saw good. it float over that 15. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, you managed to dodge to the side as the soldiers are spread out, firing in every direction. Um, uh, Duck, you hear another call as they try to uh, reach out in any way they can. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they call back, and uh, you hear a different uh, uh, voice start answering through. This is AWAC Sunspot calling back. Please report the situation. Uh, uh -uh. You hear a soldier uh, try to call out and start reporting things. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we pass the turn to Duck, so he says, yes, no. fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm going to move. I have a bit of a play following that question. All of these covers, do they count as deployables? Uh, yes. Okay, I have a play. Uh, oh, my so, God. Uh, nice. Uh, I'm going to move. Whoops, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to move up three. So one, two, three. Just going back slowly, going back in <laughs> after the balloon was floated away. <laughs> um, so, uh, I am gonna do. If I do another uh, boost the, for another quick action, quick tech, does that give me two heat again, or does it uh, uh, increase? Uh, its boost is just gonna be a two heat. Okay. So I'm gonna. So this is gonna be a boost to the full action that will uh, then uh, get on the the comms, right? right. Oh, um, um, you mean if you overcharge to boost? Uh, yes. Yeah, you will have to take overcharge, and then you'll gain... Uh, you won't take any heat from the boost, so just from the overcharge. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, first thing. Mm -hmm. So, every enemy that is next to a deployable cover takes two damage. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah. Master has a quick tech that gives Electro Pulse characters of your choice within sensors adjacent to any drone or deployable, even those they own, take two energy damage. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? And that's 20 sensor range. Hell yeah, balloon. Duck yep. the all fucking enemies. goat. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I, was, I was measuring, it's all enemies. <laughs> even the guys up here? Yeah. Fucking yeah. shit! Yeah, that range, mighty balloon, mighty balloon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, characters your choice been sensor adjacent. Any donor toy, even if they own, take two damage. So it's not saying per, but at least they take two. But every in yeah. oh my god! Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let me just that includes the squad, right? Because you said yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, duck, um, you uh, activate. These are smart deployable covers. So you, um, next to them, you basically start clicking some things, and they just mm -hmm. start snapping shut as, oh, uh, <laughs> suddenly <laughs> one snap shut on a soldier that over next to you guys that was taking cover there, crushing him instantly. Um, 
over here, this Sentinel uh, support that's in a gunfight gets it snapped on its tread. Same story with the tank. As all these things start snapping apart like little uh, tiny uh, just firecrackers of energy as they snap up and around. Uh, same thing with <laughs> one of the soldiers over here near you, Asher. Jesus Christ. And that's just a quick action. <laughs> okay. No, not for the big roll. Okay. I'm going to try to get these comms. Uh, all right. Uh, let me roll your geez. overcharge for that extra quick action. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, so that's three heat, which will put you at five. Perfect. You're, okay. You aren't over yet. Nope. Oh, I'm right. not over yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, tech attack on the radio comms. And uh, yeah, no bonuses. Big money, no whammies. Big money! Ah, God, ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you manage not to call in, and uh, so you hear um, a soldier reporting in decos, and then the AWACS is like, uh, Unidentified hostiles. All right. Confirmed. And, um, yeah, uh, did you have a um, logic probe you're doing? Uh, yep, I'm going to do a logic probe. Of, like, so those uh, those soldiers right there are a problem. Uh, and the uh, who do I have in line of sight right now? Do I have only those soldiers or do the, does the tank also? Because uh, uh... he's, he's three up. But then also he's yeah. a size four mech, and these are size three walls. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And the doors so open. They can see you. They can, they can see all me. See you. And they I can, can see them. You have soft cover, but they can see you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I okay. I'm gonna say that those uh, those soldiers will be handled by my friends. So I'm gonna logic probe the the tank over there all right, and give it good. a lock on. All right. Yeah. So you lock on the tank. Okay. Sounds good. See who's next. Um, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do next? Um, I'm going to do the turret next. As the turret, yep. uh, uh, did it? Uh, did it? Uh, yeah. Let me roll a uh, d6 to see if it recharges its missile pods. Don't. No. Yeah. It's not. Okay. <laughs> so uh, instead, it'll um, turn around. And, uh, because I don't think... Let me check something really quick. Uh, don't think it's in range of duck. It is not. So, uh, it turns around at you, Asher. Yeah. And it's going to try to target you and fire at you with its, um, light machine gun. No, oh, yeah. It is impaired when it fires. I don't... I accidentally was targeting them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, misses, and uh, then they'll try to suppress you instead. Yeah, so reliable three, but that is just one because of armor. So I take mm -hmm. one damage, so that's... All right. Yeah, sounds good. So seven that's fine suppress so that means uh she's a target with lineage they become impaired and the archer gains a moving target reaction the effects last until they archer uses okay so i'm just impaired uh yes which is like a minus is it just a difficulty to stuff right? a, dif a general difficulty to everything yeah oh well. all right uh who would like to go next uh, uh who's left i can i can go uh, right apc and Asher yeah. and yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you you can go if you want. Spoiler. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take care of these soldiers. Yeah, sounds good. Um, they are within range, so I'm going to use a uh, quick action to fire with my what you call call it. Where is it? Uh, light signature. Uh, yeah, just uh oh, if it's your light, yeah, yeah. Good thing. Yep, fire it. Um, wait, I gotta do that select thing, don't I? Mm -hmm. Shift. Uh, oh, T, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just the T on him. Spill the T on him. Spill the T. Yeah! T. Alright. One. Yep, sounds good. One. Alright, you uh, raise up your pistol, name from the side, and you just cap one of them in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna hit him with my full action heavy signature. <laughs> oh, uh, can you do that? I don't think you like you. That yeah, was just a quick action, so that was a quick action. You can't full action after that, so. Oh, okay. Uh, you yeah. can throw your extra frag. Yeah, I can. <laughs> All right, so let me have them do an agility save. Okay, they fail. Yeah. All righty. Oh, so. Um, they take two explosive damage as the grenade manages to blow up two of them. 
Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Good shit. Um, How are these guys looking? See, they're yeah. down to six men, mm. which directly you translates to six HP run. from the no squads. Uh, yeah. So, and you know, from when they fired their weapon, if they go down to five, then they only get one shot with their rifles. Uh, speaking of soldiers shooting things, yeah, yeah. Uh, these are gonna try to shoot at you, Asher. Yeah. Uh, they're <laughs> to no avail. I'm firing anyways because they might as well. They're freaking out, firing their shots, and once more they continue to bounce off both of them, doing no damage due to your armor. God. As uh, the last one attempts to fire up himself and uh, inaccurate roll uh, misses. They cannot do anything against you. They made a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh, god damn it, dude. You're uh, the, bad guy. the moral plausibility yeah. of this situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Intensely plausible. Alright, so, uh, I mean, like, uh, Paddy Wagon mm -hmm. can go. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. So, they should uh, try and get to that, uh, that building. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so, he turns over. Uh, Lanbao turns around, having taken some heavy damage and actually getting structured once. Uh, he turns on over and releases a shout. And Grant, you and Sam shakes like, uh-oh, as he charges forward, rams into the wall, and in this full action, he breaks out the prisoners. He starts storming out from the broken wall as uh, two squads join the combat. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that's two more activations you guys get this turn. Oh, nice. Uh, so, um, let's see who's next, though. As, uh, yeah, okay. Enemy turn. Uh, having seen a bunch of prisoners just break out, uh, the guy kind of turns around, and it, uh, starts pulling back, uh, moving on over here as it starts, uh, laying down some suppressive fire against the, um, uh, paddy wagon. And uh, it's also going to fire at this thing with its light machine gun. These these guys just kind of out here. Okay. Uh, so it does five reduced down to three. So the machine guns start flaring out as they take three damage. Um, and uh, yeah, this the other guy's going to get suppressed on him. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of its turn. Who's next? Let's see. Spoiler's gone. We've got uh, multiple riot squads, yeah. or rioting squads. Um, we have uh, the <laughs> Mars unit, so. Uh, would you like to just have a spree of rioters? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, let's I'm, do it. I'm staying in the, mech, in the, ro in the tank for now. Yeah, super <laughs> fair. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, they would actually be able to fire now since... Uh, you want to make another shot, buddy, or you're just going to chill out? Uh, let's see. Are they in range of my... No, you they're can... not. Yeah. Could I... Could I shoot at the turret? It, it, they would have been in range when, uh, hmm. they, when before they moved. But, uh, yeah, no, you can shoot at the turret, too. The turret has cover. They would not. Like, they were back <laughs> here, so... <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm actually going to take a pot shot with my light signature. All right, sounds good. I'll put right. you down there. There you are. Uh, let me target this. And uh, similarly, uh, your boy- It does have a lock-on, doesn't it? Yeah, so consume, consume the lock-on <laughs> so you can hit. Roll! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sam turns over! Man, I think there's Rusty and then there's Bean. Did we just get lucky all the years ago? I mean, yeah, I guess we both ran more. away. So, oh, I guess this is a coward's <laughs> hey, ability, we, huh? We sure we, 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 did we deserve it or we like, did we just get fired? <laughs> <sighs> Man, I didn't get fired. I left. That's the only thing I've got now. So I'm taking it. <laughs> Fair uh, enough, me too. The soldiers, however, will, uh, or the riders on the inside Ooh. will also fire. Ooh, nice. Uh, both doing, um, one hits, one doesn't. Okay. So they managed to get some shots off at the compartments. And uh, that means... Okay. Now, rioter ticks start happening as they just start storming out with guns and just start breaking through and just <laughs> firing everything they have. Let me uh, consume that lock-on, too, because that's not there. Okay. 
you hear a bunch of shouting and uh, just general sounds of gunfire as multiple shots just start ringing out through the terrain, firing into these vehicles that are slowly trying to flee. Um, as the rioters start moving up, uh, they will, however, um, trigger this Terra's... Uh, oh, it didn't have the held action still because it actually... Popped. No, it fired it at the uh, APC. Yeah, yeah. so mm. uh, instead... It's going to just fire out its tank cannon at uh, these Oof. guys, Oof. which splashes down, killing three instantly Oof. as it just sort of, they all just kind of hit the dirt. And Poor on boys. top of that, um, the uh, mounted machine gun, I believe, is just out of range. So they can't fire that one yet. Phew. Uh, oh instead, it's going to lock on uh, this squad over here. And, uh, yeah, uh, upon that, um, uh, that squad's now going to move up, moving on over here, and it's just going to fire over at the tank. Or, you know what, not the tank. It's going to start climbing on this thing and just trying to shoot in through portholes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You see they people rushing <laughs> over their guns? as they just, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they people start rushing over as they just start shooting in, and you think they've probably killed a few people on the inside there, as they just continue to swarm over this area. Um, yeah, the riders on the inside of that one are fine. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's last turn. Uh, mm. Are you ready for your moral plausibility moment? <laughs> oh, man, I, I gave them enough chances. I, okay, so I am uh, I'm uh, impaired right now. I'm gonna do a barrage because you know. I'm impaired, yeah, yeah. but I get a uh, plus one accuracy from uh, my duelist, so... Yes! Uh, impaired. Uh, I can't click it. Can you put the imp compare, uh, impaired condition on me? Yes, I will do that now. Yeah, yeah. You're impaired now. That'll just happen for your rolls. Yeah, boy, thank you. And then I'm gonna tackle melee weapon. Uh, accurate, main impaired. Main. Yeah. So this is gonna be normal. Nice. Uh, oh. Nice! Oh. Seven damage. All right. You wide swing with your spear and almost knock four people at once as you just blast them back and away. They crumple up against the sand. There's, there's only one guy left, right? <laughs> no, seven there's from... four guys. Oh, okay. Because there was seven from me, two from the barrier? Uh, no. Remember, they're squads, so if it's not a blast or cone or anything, then they only take resistant damage to that. Oh, okay. So I, uh, okay, so yeah, I, yeah. I keep swinging. Yeah. Yes. Alright, uh, then, uh, this is gonna be my, uh, uh, other tactical melee weapon, uh, which is, well, I will just be impaired for. It. Yeah! Oh! So, mm -hmm. as you go on with the second, with your sword, you basically slide across, slashing at multiple different directions, and then, as you notice, as you sort of come out on the other side of that, there are none left in that pile, all dead, sitting in the sand. <laughs> They're option made. Yeah. And with that, oh. that's the end of this round. I, I have more. I can do more. Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, I can move and get shot, but, like, you know. That's true, yeah. So I'm going <laughs> to, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, move here. Mm -hmm. All righty. So it only gets, like, one attack on me, right? Yep. Ooh, uh, nice. Ooh. Uh, I take yeah. one damage, because armor. Three damage. Oh yeah, one because yeah, yeah. of armor. Yep. Yeah, one mm -hmm. one because of armor. Okay. So I do six, and uh, let's see. Let me one two three four. So this is a five size thing, right? Yes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, overcharge. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Oh, you want to ram it? Yeah, I'm gonna ram it. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck it. So that's uh two heat plus one. So that's uh. Five, five heat, and so I'm going to uh, boost uh, and then do my free action ram against it. Uh, so, Which, yeah, yeah. Uh, do do I even need to make the melee range? Uh, so you have the siege ram, which does 10 AP damage. Uh, you need to uh, still do a range attack. Yes. Yeah. Uh, after it shot me, am I still impaired after it already popped its shot, or? Uh, it popped its shot, so you aren't impaired anymore. All right. Okay. So nice, I'm nice, going nice. to just uh, do a no normal roll. So. All right. Five. Okay. Alrighty. So that does actually just barely miss. 
Um, no, <laughs> wait, it's stationary. No, five hits. Five hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> uh, so yes, you move in. You slam into it. Now do me a damage roll with your uh, lance really fast. Uh, it's uh, it's my siege ram, right? Oh wait, I get yes. I get. Uh, so you that's... get an attack. To... Or no, that was the ram. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, 10 AP, you're right. Yeah. So you do 10 AP damage. You notice this thing just bends as it sort of like shifts over to the side. It's mostly damaged, not quite destroyed. Damn. But as, uh, and as you sort of hold that, you hear in your comms as the AWACS, uh, it's like, come in! The squad it just tried to communicate with is dead. And um, it says, to all available units in the area, please confirm. Available units, uh, you hear, uh, uh, Seti, you notice one of the guys ducks behind a cover by the tank and, uh, calls out, we're still alive! Prisoners are breaking out in every direction! It's just us! Um, AWACS responds, not for long. I've redeployed Snifflewin. <laughs> and, upon that word. Fuck. Meanwhile, flying nearby across a sandy desert, clouds Sunday. floating in the air, a squadron approaches outwards, moving swiftly across the area, almost there as they sort of call out, unknown hostiles, think it might be pirates? Another pilot speaks up over the comms, communicating, probably just some of their fucking, I don't know, Oculus ganger friends. I think we've got it. I'll show you who's the best pilot in the fleet, Captain. However, their flight lead is ever so silent as moving on over, uh, all pilots fly in a direct flight lead position, following a bit behind their leader, who amongst all of them, only his plane has sharp contrails flying through the sky. <gasps> only he flies with a movement that could be considered as graceful as an eagle. Flying in. All of them join the combat as we go on to the next round. Oh, oh let's <laughs> fucking go! <laughs> so, oh, top of the chills. round. Enemies go first. <laughs> so, with that in mind, let me just uh, go on to the next one really quick. As uh, I believe we're at the top of round four. We're at the top so, of round four, yeah. All right. So, flying over, their flight lead takes position and begins to move as flying as quickly as possible. It zooms down, moving its full max movement down five forward and then five down, bringing itself oh over to this God. area. You <laughs> notice that flying above the head, you see jets closing in swift and fast, uh, Asher, as it uses its boost to bring itself back down into combat range. And then it sort of swiftly turns itself to the side and you hear a missile launch away as you hear your system start firing through. It manages to take a hit on you. Your armor re redirects just so slightly and you manage to only take two damage from this. Oh, for fucking God. God <laughs> damn. It's gonna fucking suck Does anyone ass. hear jets? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the sounds blowing throughout the air as, uh, yes, who wants to go next? Um, so, mm. I'm about to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you so gonna fly? Yeah, SETI, SETI is fucking vibrating in the cockpit. Uh, hey, does the bounty system go off? Uh, there are no bounties for this man. Yeah. There are no bounties for the pilot that flies in these skies, for he doesn't have no legend to speak of yet. Yo, spoiler. Give me a drink yeah, if I yeah, take yeah. that one down. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to mark that as my bounty. Yes, go for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. As for Bounty Wonder, for this scene, that becomes the one bounty tar marked target you have. Lovely. Uh, so, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drop Spoiler off so she can get a mech. That cool with everyone? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay. So, uh... Well, drop me off on, uh, somebody... If you're going that way, just drop me off on Asher. You sure? Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, she, she's like, I could get you, I could drop you in the abattoir zone if you want it. The what do you, what? I can get you one of the, I could drop you in the app. I mean, <laughs> if you're just letting me fly straight at the, yeah, okay. <laughs> you're not bad. Yeah. She, I mean, the, you'll be able to do more, right? She beams ear to ear. She's like, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you, she is beaming. Uh, I'm going to boost and immediately skirmish these two guys with my knives. All right. Sounds uh, good. This squad right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Let's skirmish just... before you move. Sure thing. Uh, okay. Hold on. Uh, for some reason, I'm not seeing my my options huh. on SETI anymore. Might uh, need to let's, refresh. Let's just roll it manually. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Uh, tech knife. Nice. Tech knife. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, two hits. Nice. Uh, that will be uh, eight damage. I'm adding my 2d3 yep. to it. I reduced that to four because of the uh, <clears throat> uh, bonus, but four more. You yep. managed to slice to pieces every single soldier standing next to you before you depart. She doesn't even pay attention. She is just beaming ear to ear and moving. Uh, warning, right. if I move SETI right now, I'm moving all of the riot squads. All right, I'll move for you then. Um, Thank you so much. Just get me over there. All right, so <clears throat> you move five. Uh, that's your movement. Uh, are you boosting as well? Uh, that was my boost. That was your boost. Do you want to use your movement to go I'd higher? I'd like to use my movement. <laughs> All right. So you are now, uh, you're five in the air, I imagine, right now with yes. your movement right now. Okay, cool. All I'd right. Like, so that's I'd like to skirmish and fire that new gun I got. <laughs> sure thing. Go for it. Okay. Um, let's take aim and wait. Hold on. How many spaces is this guy away? Hold on. Oh, didn't mean to drop that. Um... How many spaces oh, we got? Uh, he is uh, 10 feet in the air and uh, five spaces away. So basically, I uh, throw my knives 10. at him. It's 10, <laughs> though, because. Oh, wait, but you're five up, too. Yep. So that is only five. Yeah. I throw right. my knives at him. You, with a <laughs> hyper powered fist, you throw your knives right across the air. Uh, make those attack rolls for me. Uh, okay. Aren't the knives only thro uh, thrown three? They're only thrown, thrown three. Five. That is true. Oh, they're only thrown three? Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Then I'll fire my gun. <laughs> yeah, um, sounds good. Uh, what were the... Is it on my sheet? Oh, yeah, yeah there it is. I slapped Lovely. it on your sheet for you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, ac slapper. It's accurate, and I also get a plus one on this. Mm-hmm. Nice. I needed every single bonus I got. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That'll be uh, six damage. So, uh, as you fire in, looking to do six damage, you notice this thing. It The jet engine seems to roar as almost spinning, you fire shots to leave with this new weapon. But as you do so, you notice the plane's wings slide open and it takes a sharp, sudden turn. This thing bends the air itself as it almost flies off to the side, successfully not getting hit by your attack using a barrel roll and flying six spaces off in this direction. It moves and I use hot pursuit immediately. Yeah. Where are you going, <laughs> handsome? <laughs> You're a freak. You're hot. <laughs> now she throws her knives as part of the free movement. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Christian, I'm going to accidentally move everybody, I think. Uh, okay, I'll move you. Remember, if that happens, just drag your, uh, uh, drag a thing to be able to, yeah. That's nice. nice. Let's fuck That's go. A hit. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So one knife oh, goes uh, long, but wait, the other one. Hold on. Uh, 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 that uh, should uh, have accuracy on it because that's my bounty target. <laughs> uh, that's true. Let me add an extra accuracy on there. Mm. Uh, two. Still misses. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but you manage to throw two knives. One manages to fall off to the side. The other one, however, uh, manages to uh, cut into a wing, dealing four damage. Uh, no, okay. more damage. You got to do your, um... Oh, uh, yeah, my hurrah. Or, yeah, oh. you're hurrahing. Or... <clears throat> okay, five damage. Five damage. You do five okay. damage as it goes wide, yeah. I'd like to activate my free boost. All right, go for it. I fly underneath, catch the knives, angle around, and throw them up again. Oh, okay, so you fly down five to get the knives? I fly down five to grab the knives. It All says right. that knives drop in an adjacent yep, square. It is. So, so you in it the air, she catches up to this jet, catches both of the knives, and then swings up trying to slice through it. Okay. Um. So the way I'm, uh, the way I'll rule it here no. is, um, 
because you're trying to get this mid catch down, I kind of want to make this happen. Just make me an agility roll to see if you can do it first. Oh, oh. love love making an agility roll when I'm when I'm flying. Um, okay. Come on. Uh, let's go. Mm-mm-mm. Next stats. Where is agility? There you are. This does get me. Please. I believe. Yeah. Here we go. Big money, big money, big money! Yeah! That works. Okay. So, um, you pass the agility, catch the knives, swing up, make two attacks for me. Oh, love to see it. Hell yeah. Pack knife, accurate. Damn. Oh, there's the one. Tack knife, accurate. (coughs) Prof. All right. So, Prof, get it. Yeah! All right, so you cut in, slicing down onto this thing as you catch, uh, you know what, fucking, you're gonna take this thing down to one HP. Describe how you do it with the knife, since that's cool, it was your idea. <laughs> uh, she swings both of the knives up, letting the uh, letting the thruster on her back almost fall free. She uses the momentum, detaches it, flies free and swings her knives up. Uh, she oh. slices through, it's at one HP. <clears throat> uh, yes. I detach my thruster pack and slam dunk it on this. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that in mind, you are 10 feet in the air. Do you want to do this? Absolutely. I mean, no, this is my rapid uh, thruster. I've still yes. got the flight that's unit true, That's true, that's <laughs> true. So, with that in mind, uh, make me an attack with the rapid thruster. It's a basic attack. You are Nothing. in melee range, so it will be engaged uh, penalty. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Back to the thruster. <clears throat> Let me just go. I'm just gonna throw it the classic. Hold on. Uh, uh, launch. <laughs> launch. 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 Okay. Launch. Uh, oh, did it not roll? Okay. Let me. Yeah, it doesn't have a built-in roll macro. I'll just throw the tack knife at it. <clears throat> yeah, that should work. There we go. Engaged penalty. <laughs> So, uh, we're ignoring that damage because you're going to roll 2d6 instead. Oh, lovely. Just roll a flat 2d6 for me. You can just cue it in at the bottom there. So, you six. Six damage because that's the highest number. So, with that, um, the the pack flies off and it slams up into the bottom and it explodes as it almost blasts into the back of this thing's thruster as it almost breaks apart. And now... As you notice it, the way in the last second it has, it manages to pull back a slight spin as the p- booster pack explodes. One of its rear thrusters goes off, breaking, but it's not dead. Oh, yes, 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 yes <laughs> that's it. The mech is destroyed as the entire yes. thing blasts. Sweet and you, you see uh, in that moment, things start to fire off as almost emerging out. Um... A, uh, let me, it has a reaction still. Um, the automatic jet response, you know, the jet uh, booster pack flies out. The thing manages to fucking crash up in the air. You see a pilot fly up and out into the air as this thing just hits the ground. (laughs) Sunny. Sunny lets herself hover in the air and then drops a little bit, sees the pilot, salutes, and then ducks backwards towards the ground. Oh, fantastic. (laughs) You hear a call out point. Who the hell is that? They got Artiste! (laughs) And moving on, um, one of the other pilots, not you, not you in this situation, uh, you hear that one of the pilots, being Artiste, you're mine! Flying down, <laughs> moving fast and with movement, it zooms up as close as possible, going down to the engagement zone as uh, a rocket blares out and. Fi- oh, actually, uh, also, uh, you take your heat at the end of that from your. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Suit. So uh, there you go. What do we got? Ooh, bows, let's fucking die! Uh, <laughs> someone else flies on down, uh, and a rocket pod almost flares up as they try to uh, fire down at you in this very moment. <laughs> Um, they're actually going to lock onto you first as well. Understand. As uh, you, nice you hear a radar lock <laughs> activate as you're just fired on immediately. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Jesus oh, oh, So oh, that's, that's eight crit. damage as a rocket mm. lands directly on your chest piece and you're blasted back. Also, uh, 
one thing to keep in mind. Um, yeah. Let me see. That's a blast attack. Hey, oh. uh, spoiler. Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! So you take Ugh. four as well. Oh, wait, you're stealth suited, so let me see if that even hits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me roll a 1d100, and if it's under 50, then it doesn't hit you. It doesn't hit you. Oh, oh yeah, god! <laughs> yeah. So, now after that, that ends that turn. Uh, new player turn. Who wants to go? Okay, uh, so... I think it's uh, actually, sure, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, uh... I sure as hell don't want to follow well, where, that. Where, where are you right now, like, in the sky? Like, are you near the ground, or...? She is She is near the ground, yeah. Okay, so, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, is I'm going to, uh... I, I'm, su I'm suddenly clumped with all you guys. Let me just, uh... Sometimes you get clumped. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to, uh... Move next to you. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my full uh, action to clear expose for you. I, I, well, technically, it's a stabilize that I do do. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So let me see. You can clear yeah. a condition. Uh, you can stabilize. Let me see if you can. Um, yeah. Uh, like what you can do off of that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because I might specify it cannot be used for clear exposed. So I want to check. Yeah. Um, there is stabilize. There it is. Um, Clear condition on yourself or an adjacent ally. Yep, exposed as a condition, so you can do it. Yeah. So, Lovely. so the stabilize is just to clear that condition. Nothing more. Nothing. Uh, less. you can. That's your second option. You can also restore some HP if you yeah, want you get more to clear heal. some heat. Yeah. Oh, like heal me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can heal your. Yeah. When you stabilize, okay. you can either clear all your heat, restore health, and then you can pick the option that clears. Exposed. Yeah. Okay. It's fucking rad, dude. Uh, like, awesome. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm trying to do it on SETI. Is what I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So, yep. so uh, you can that, heal yourself that... and clear that on on me. Yes. Okay. I was yep. wondering if I could heal Seti off that, but no. Okay. No. 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 Right. Only you can only. Uh, uh, where is yeah. stabilize? Let me just. Uh, boop. Uh, stabilize. Boop. Uh, restore HP. Clear burn. Clear condition on ally. Okay. There we go. And I spit. Okay. So yeah. Alrighty. So uh, you're no longer exposed, Seti. And okay. I, I have full HP and full heat. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, uh, overcharge. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see. Overcharge is going to be a fucking big ass number. Two, Ooh, actually. Oh, You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh, Two heat. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, boost up uh, with my jump jets onto this wall. Uh huh. On top of it. Uh, and I'm not really in range to do anything because I only have melee weapons. So, uh, that's pretty much going to be the end of my turn. Just setting up to All fucking right. swat these fucking flies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> just to check, um, you're mm. at 2 HP, two, you, I thought you were at 5 heat before? Uh, I cleared my heat because of, uh, stabilize. <laughs> oh, you can only clear heat or restore HP as a part of that. Uh, you can't do both. Yeah. No? So. What? I, I can, yeah. I, op oh, option 1 or option 2, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, all right, so then I go back to 9 HP, that's fine. Yeah, uh, it's just like, it's like the thing of like, I, I pulled it up and it was just like, yeah, you can, uh, uh, cool mech, restore HP, and then option two is reload and clear burn, so I guess yeah. I can only do like one of the four. Oh, it's cool uh, mech and then clear burn. You, you know what I'm saying, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because so, that, in that case, uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah so, uh, Yeah, it's cool mech and, uh, clear ally condition would be the things you can use. Okay. There yeah. we go. Thumbs up. So, so there you go. Alrighty. So yeah, now you're up at that too. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, next file roll. Um, uh, Duck, you're getting all these commission. Yeah, all these. You're still hacked in the system. Um, mm -hmm. As you hear a, another pilot speak up, uh, she kind of calls out, "Damn it, hack! We're down, squad leader." Uh, she moves in, going down to this distance, and then goes back into combat engagement. Uh, and then she turns on over, and she's also gonna shoot at you for destroying the squad leader. Oh, yeah, no, completely oh, understandable. But at least you don't have fucking exposed, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, god, uh, yeah, hits. good thing. You take four uh, damage, and you structure. Uh, true, oh. true. Um, you want five true. range. Yep, yep, let's see. Big mm. roll. Nope, they still hit. Oh, damn. damn. Okay, uh, with that in mind, I added a visibility on the spoiler. Uh, that second, the explosion is gonna see if that hits spoiler as well. Please, uh, nope. nope. We golden! Okay. No! We golden! <laughs> so, take that structure for me, Jay. Okay. Oh, God. Let's go, baby! Uh, we're fast. 
time to go fucking fast. Uh, let's take in structure damage. Roll 3d6. Yeah! Okay, there it is. It's <laughs> hot. Jesus oh, Christ. Dear Lord. Oh, so, uh, the second shot rings through as you are brought down from the ground. As you suddenly, uh, Jay, you fall nine squares down. I, I'm gonna... Your mech is Exactly for to... this situation, uh -huh. I've got the mobility suit. Uh, I'm turning on my fucking jetpack. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. You'll have to do that. So, uh, you fall, everyone, fall, you basically fall ten squares per yeah. round after that, so... You know, fall down right now. Oh yeah, so so the mech just hits yeah, the mech the just crashes down. Uh, it becomes a wreck that has Ooh. one HP left after this. Oh, lovely! <laughs> As you, uh, uh, spoiler, um, you were clinging on up there. Uh, yeah, you're was. also gonna fall. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, so, uh, spoiler, do you have um, uh, let me let me just check something really quick. This is kind of important. Um, mm -hmm. pilot actions. Uh, include... Oh, wait, you still have your damage shield! Okay, yeah, no. spoiler. You, uh, take nine damage, which you use your nope. shield on, and you don't have your I shield don't. anymore. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> you manage to basically bounce off and, like, take the impact and land and slide across the sand. As, uh, both no, it was you... fun, let's do it again sometime. <laughs> uh, both you and Seti are just sort of deposited on the ground, and you look up at the plane soaring above you as, you, as you're moving. Um... And uh, let me just uh, pop down a SETI really quick because that's going to be very important. Uh, um, who uh, who got me? Which which? Uh, what's the call sign of the ship that uh, got me? You don't know the call sign, but you know it was the one with the emblazoned yellow three on it. The embrace. Mm. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, you see that as the last one before you smash down against the uh, against the ground, basically. Uh, let's see, SETI, SETI. Yeah, SETI. There we go. Okay. So, uh, and then, uh, here, let me put your pilot suit form down as, uh, yeah, you Lovely. and Spoiler are chilling right now. So, uh, this is my place. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I oh. love it. And, uh, with that, uh, back to it as, uh, who's going yeah. next? Ally turn. Four. Ally turn. Oh, Ally turn. Got... Ideas. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so I am very slow, so I can't get like over there really. Um, do do you have any plans, Jackson? Before I start thinking. <laughs> um, no, I think Are other we than able to get to the mechs. Is, is is the paddy wagon able to get to the mechs this turn? If um, the paddy wagon see. moves, then you guys can if you get out. Correct. Yes. So it can move and then boost, and then you guys could get the rest of the way. Uh, we might give it to them. Though obviously, um, when you get out and stuff, that'll be on your turn. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do that? Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's go for that. All right. So uh, the patty wedding shifts and turns, pulling itself out of the um, uh, door it slammed into, and it drives on through. People running and almost flying out of the way as it sort of just deposits up here. And then uh, it turns on over, and uh, I believe, uh, yeah, the this one gets to fire the light machine gun at it because it uh, moved long hair. That's the wrong target. Uh, <laughs> that is Spoiler die! <laughs> so that will no. also hit the paddy wagon. So uh, the paddy wagon will take five damage as it charges forward. And as it's running, the machine gun starts firing off, targeting the terror in front of it. As it uh, just starts going at it, and it's not impaired anymore because it consumed the attack to get at it. So, it fires. Uh, massively Ooh, fails, and then it just goes to suppress the UEA thing. Uh, and with that, uh, you tell like, RIDES OVER! He yells to the back. And... Much uh, appreciated. So, on your next turn, your squad and you guys can depart. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, next up... Now I'm actually gonna get that one guy to go since I didn't do him before. Uh, you're off the initiative one. Okay. Next up, the next plane's flying in. Um, so, it uh, swirls in, um, and as it goes, it kind of drops down here as, uh, let's see, going down by 10. It goes down, entering the combat field. Um, 
and it just says, uh, just kind of flies in. Is it even in range right now? Oh, it can. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, when no, has no, not. when no, has a, a pipe when has a jet ever a shot down? I'm not actually. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, here's the thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was looking at it, but it's not in range, and it's not the priority it was given right now, anyways. Okay. I was about to, I was about to do some ace combat shit of being like, yeah. ha, ha, has an enemy pilot ever shot down a man who's ejected out of his jet? He's already dead. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. Let's see. Going down here. Okay, yeah. Uh, this jet sprints off, and it's going to instead attack the APC vehicle. <laughs> let's see. Uh, it's going to lock on too. Oh wait, no, don't, not not that one either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Uh, oh, it god. arcs down, firing off a shot, and the vehicle is rocketed by damage. It's All fine. Right. I'll be able to get out and get into mech mech this turn. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Uh, you want to do uh, that turn then? Yeah. Alright, yeah. so you all depart <laughs> on top of this thing as. Uh, let me just uh, pop down here. Uh, the squad will take its full action to uh activate the thing so um first off uh let me just um uh, pop down here uh let's see i can clear you both as uh instead going out will be you and everyone's kind of getting in their mechs etc and all that stuff as uh you all end up arming up and getting your own mechs grant mechs grant uh you manage to turn on the printer and uh, you have a little difficulty at first until suddenly, uh, once you start interacting with it a bit more, uh, Lumbao uh, comes on out, kind of rushes inside for a bit, and then he just kind of tosses up a drive at you. Put that in! And then he just sprints back outside, his bullet fire almost takes his head off as he just stretches and just climbs back into his APC. You that plug it in. one crazy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you plug it in. And as you start to do that, you see just how uh, effective the drive works as you and Dumpster first print up two avatars and step out and join the combat. Ooh. Now, you won't be able to act on this turn since you still needed the full to get into it and print it. So that'll that be next cool. turn. All right. So uh, next up, um, turret. Does not recharge its thing. Oh, thank Christ. Uh, it is coming in at you. Uh, let's see. It's going to lock onto you first, um, Asher. Yeah. As the turret turns over and tries to fire. It manages to hit, dealing three damage after your oh, armor. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, three damage? All right, that's fine. Mm hmm Yep. All right, cool. Okay. Cool, cool. cool. So... Uh, with that, uh, who wants to go next? Uh, so, uh... Asher moved, so let me just yeah, mark yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. yeah, who do we have? We have Spoiler, Duck, I need to go. Farah. Yeah. Um, can I get to Asher? I'm on top of this wall. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I yeah. guess not. <laughs> I can try and zip over there. <laughs> That's true, you do have a lot of boosts and stuff right now. You can yeah, move yeah. very fast and can fly. Yeah. 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 You've got two boosts? I'll take my turns. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You you can fly up and probably punch a jet if you really wanted to. Yeah, you have your can standard you... movement, and then you have can... uh, your free two boost boosts. from uh, the shit, which also lets you fly, so you can get on top of that. Right. Yep. And then you can overcharge to get your third boost, which would uh, take you like over here to us. So. You also have the you also have the free boost from your core power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the free boost I was talking about. So you get oh, three. Yeah. yeah, your standard so movement one boost Farrah. from the free action, and then uh, yeah, yeah. So you, Sparrow, you start running your way through as you charge through the gate, boost up, land on the building, and then boost one more to land past the gate onto the other side, almost sliding across the way. Uh, and the best part, you still have a quick action. Oh, yep. sorry, I moved. I, moved. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, so you land across the way, you still have a, uh, a quick action as you aim up those guns. But wait, you, yeah, assault rifle, you have assault rifle. Yeah. Oh, I am impaired, unfortunately. Yeah. 
unfortunately. But I don't care. Uh, when, do, when does they, the how long does the impaired last? Until the end of this turn. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. It has reliable assault rifle does. So. Yeah. So Let's yeah, uh, stay away from my girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So where are my weapons? Here figure we a target you want to attack and get it going. You have three ammunition yeah, left. So number you have three one shots is dead, thing. right? Yeah, number one is dead. Yeah, super dead. I'll mark. Yeah, that's that's like that's the one down here. Uh, let me even like. <laughs> he says oh, yeah. nothing and then dies. <laughs> 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 Number two up here is still alive, and it is within range. Does this have um, reliable built into the macro? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. All right, let's go. Damn. All right, so reliable two. Um, you managed to carve off a little bit of the damage as the bullet like scripts up low on uh, impact as it's shooting so high, but you managed to do a little bit. All right. I have to roll for my. Yeah, give me that overcharge now. Yeah! Right. That's three heat. You can do another shot if you want. What do you mean I can do another shot? Hmm? What do you mean I can do another shot? Oh, uh, I thought you were overcharging to shoot again. You actually are yeah, no, just this, fine. I had yeah. to overcharge to get over here. No, yeah, no, you didn't actually. You were you fine. Did, no. Move, yeah, you were move fine. boost, and then free boost from Everest. Yep. So... Oh, yeah. Okay. oh yeah. Okay. That, so yeah, you can choose not to get a shoot heater, or, or use that. Yeah. Well, to shoot fuck it, I'm overcharging. Yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. Shoot those motherfuckers. That was a good roll. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll shoot again. Oh. We fucking love reliable in this house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boy. You deal two damage. And uh, yeah, you're just taking pot shots as you as you go. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you okay? Uh, Are protocols, quick action. There are uh, stuff you do at the beginning of your turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, um, we're gonna have the Terra move. As it uh kind of begins to back up through this way, and it's going to take a shot at this uh, vehicle over here, which does have hard cover against this. I assume I don't have an overwatch against that, right? Uh, not yet. Okay, <laughs> that's what I thought. Wait, no, you do. You oh! do have an overwatch you against do. that. Take some shots. Okay, yeah! right, take a Please shot. Do nice. Do I have my weapons in this, or? or oh, wait, yeah, no, this is, this is, yeah, it does have your weapons. And I still, I still get my talent because I'm. Yes, because you're a talented man. So all right, yeah. so if you just like right here, yes. is that uh -huh. within range three? Yes, like right there. It is. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Overwatch against it, uh, getting plus two accuracy because it's a CQB weapon within range three and it's an auxiliary weapon. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, and that's just a skirmish or a reaction. Mm -hmm. That is, is a, a reaction. Yeah, fire. it's a reaction. So you shoot with that's one reaction. Weapon. You get you get okay. free shit. Yes. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to click on. Mm -hmm. but, uh, okay. Two accuracy. Roll. Right yeah! Yeah! Right yeah! Right yeah! There it is. yeah! Yeah! Oh, so, no, let's fucking go! Hey, uh, uh, Carl, give me a reaction to his first time piloting a mech ever and getting a crit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam, first time for everything. He pulls out, uh, somehow the machine printed out a perfect replica, but neck sized of his old reliable Magnum. He gives a little, a little kiss and pulls the trigger. <laughs> and it's just dead on shot. <laughs> right the in shot the turret. pierces right at as it cuts into the turret and he just kind of turns over surprised. See, what did I tell you? We are natural at this. Yeah, and it's just a different kind of horse, I guess. <laughs> uh, God, he's so, uh, is he on comms, by the way? Uh, yes, duck. You're so we all hear this. <laughs> yeah. 
You hear Seti roaring and clapping. <laughs> Bronco reporting in. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. And this is uh, Dumpster in the good old baby blue. Um, <laughs> Left uproarier. Uproarious uh, applause. Anyway, yeah, no, everyone's just clapping. Uh, this uh, transport uh, turns over and tries to fire down at the uh, uh, soldiers here. Uh, that will be uh, a hit which will reduce down as these guys are reduced down to uh -oh. uh, four people. Oof. And uh, yeah. it'll turn over, and uh, it actually can't see you guys yet. So oh. it'll, um, upon seeing the pistol shot ring out, it drives over this way, and it's going to lay down some suppression to fire um, on uh, you, Grant. Okay. All right, and... Uh, Ooh, okay, here comes the swarm of well, a uh, duck and spoiler still have turns actually. Mm. Yes. I have a thing. I have one thing I can do, but go ahead. All right, spoiler. There you go. Oh, I forgot to do one thing with my skirmish as well, but I, don't worry about it. Yeah, it wasn't a skirmish. I, either, so a literally, just the thing I can do, just so you know, well, uh, before you make actions, is I can give everyone overshield. Mm. Sure. Uh, that sounds very useful for this exact situation where there's a bunch of people outside of their mechs. Yeah, yes, yeah. Please, so take your turn. Want... Okay, so uh, essentially, I'm gonna move three to make absolutely sure I'm in range where I should be. Um, so, uh, one, two, three. Oh, three. Yep, there you go. As the balloon continues to uh, to sort of slowly come in. Uh -huh. um, and essentially, uh, this is the... Uh, oh, protocol needs to be at the beginning of my turn? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Everyone was in range uh, anyway. All right. Uh, I calculated. So essentially, the camera zooms in into the Babbage, and uh, you see Duck in there connected to a bunch of fucking machines, essentially uh, piloting this uh, four-person... Uh, uh, four-pilots and uh, team... Uh, sort of vessel uh, by himself and you see sort of these like mechanical hands start going in overdrive almost like an overactive spider as uh, Duck goes activating all hands on station uh, the Babbage works its crew to their breaking point so just me uh, for the rest <laughs> of the scene enemies targeted by prober virus automatically fail their system save and adaptive nucleus affects all ally in sensor range oh, so everybody oh gets overshield oh. yeah overshield so, 3 everyone gets 3 overshield yeah Much Much appreciated the so with that in mind um now it's your time time spoiler yeah uh so i started blasting <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, I'm going to shoot one of these guys down with my, um, heavy signature. Uh, is that... Wait. Hmm? I shot it already. What? Is that what? Oh, I was just saying, if it, if, is it in range? Because it's 10 squares up, so, like, at least it would be Yeah, 10, no, 10 it's not away. in range, because it's 10 yeah. squares away. If I so you... they're a bit out of range of firing at you oh. right now. Okay. You can um... always mount on your girl over here. <laughs> you can't that go inside, sounds... but you can clear the heat, right? That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to mount my girl over here. <laughs> and hey, I'm going to clear her heat. All right. Because you she's in heat. From her. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, setting her blood pumping over the comms you hear a chime in of, don't make me jealous. <laughs> hey, uh, Treetop, make sure you get in with uh, Jawline over there. You're not as tough. <laughs> oh my god she's um, lounging in the cockpit just like <laughs> I'm gonna need a sec honestly <laughs> does that clear all my heat uh, I think so it cleared all the cities yep alright so <laughs> that's um, so strong okay so uh, with that in mind um, uh, let's see who's next it's uh, I believe because all the enemies went so, oh, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. My super apologies. Just to be fair, does the protocol take all my turn? No, it does not. So I didn't do anything else. Do yeah, I do that do now? Or... Yeah, do something. Okay. Really Good. Uh, so I'll turn I... anyway. 
Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use. I would assume that the planes are not adjacent to the <laughs> to the covers. No. <laughs> to the deployable covers. Mm -hmm. um, however, that uh, that fucker over there is. Um, so I think I'm gonna activate uh, Electro Pulse uh, as a quick tech to give two damage to that uh, tank over there in the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, with another quick action, I'm gonna place uh, within range uh, uh, essentially here. Uh, I'm gonna place a, a deployable turret. Okay, cool. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, so uh, you should have access to your turret to be able to drag it down if you want to try. Oh, to it. okay. Just I want to see if you can really fast, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Uh, turret drone. Uh, I have tried to drag it down. Whoa, uh, there it is. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. Turret drone slaps on down there, and you uh, just basically managed to uh, get that cleared out a little bit. All right, so now it's soldiers' turns. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no worries. Um, yeah, so the or not even soldiers. Does the the rioters just start charging on through? Um, I moved them. They're before all soldiers now. But uh, yeah, they they get in there. They're gonna full action, um, and uh, these ones kind of run off this way. And uh, they just start firing their guns at this uh, APC. One hit. Two hit. Okay. Yeah, you you notice as this thing uh, gets gunned, and there's been some holes blown in it over time. So they boost move up, and you see them pop inside the hatch as it opens up, and you hear gunshot fire, and this thing is destroyed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Yeah, boy. Uh, at the Whoa. top of round five, um, mm -hmm. uh, over the comms, uh, AWACS sunspot. Ground forces are merely destroyed. Pull back. Um, the one of the uh, pilots screams up. Captain's still down there. Um, this is an order. Pull back now. You're not quite sure how much they're willing to obey that currently. However. You notice the jets start to veer in some ways. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's a uh, round five, so it's player's turn. Yeah, I'm going to take the first turn. Yeah. Right. yeah. Because uh, I, there's important things, matters at hand. Uh, and so yeah. um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I can't act... Okay, there we go. Uh, Ash is going to step down uh, and open mm -hmm. up Seti's mech uh, and <laughs> out, outstretch his hand. Uh, your chariot. <laughs> yeah. uh, she very uh, she very daintily stands up and takes it like one hand on her chest ah thank you very much my knight and then uh, <laughs> she gets like titanfall shoved into the cockpit <laughs> <laughs> oh god ow yeah ow, you, uh, I'm jealous not a <laughs> Then, uh, obviously... They're all just flirting with each other. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just gonna use my movement to step on the capture point, because, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, you step on the capture point. As, um... Yeah, uh... You move on up, and, um... Okay. Oh, I also forgot. Um, yeah. Uh, just a small note at the beginning of the turn. One thing I do need to note is the, uh... Uh, you notice the... As you go down, um... Uh, as the parachute drops down, <laughs> um, you notice a oh, uh, oh, singular, he's adorable. <laughs> uh, you notice a man drop down, take oh. off the helmet, oh, and I love pop him. him down on the ground there, and just kind of put his hands oh up in God. the air. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> and he kind of I moves over and takes a sit on his jet, which crashed down on the ground. And just kind of puts his hands up, kind of ducks down beneath the wreckage there. Uh, but that's not his turn. He doesn't get a turn. He's just yeah. there. Uh, oh my um, god! What I'm going to do? Cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, is I'm going to uh, full tech, uh, and mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, kill that man. I uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to scan uh, uh, both one and three. I mean two and right. two and three. Oh, thank you for my life, Aloha. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, 
Uh, but I'm not. I'm not looking for their HP no, no, or anything. I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, yes. they fu- who the fuck they are? Uh, who are they? Are you, yeah, you thank find, you. You find a uh, data that both of them are. Uh, this is Snivelwind two and three. Uh, Mary and Tomoko. They're both uh, listed as hack and flunky. They appear to be fresh recruits off of the um, UEA flight school. All right. Uh, and can I get into their comms? Yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Asher's going now, to Now, I'm going to say, yeah. uh, this is potentially risky here. Um, though, I don't think it would be hard to, uh, provide, uh, like, you're obviously probably faking your voice because you're planning to make announcements anyways. Yeah. Um, but you can still do this, yes. Yeah. But uh, you better do a fake voice. <laughs> you just have to be careful what yeah. you say, not what you, like, how your voice is, because no, whatever you say will be, yeah, uh, blocked off. But what your voice, like, well, yeah, you know what I mean. Go for it. Uh, uh, Asher's going to come over the comms. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to him. His jet's already um, down. That's enough. You hear a, um, uh, just a moment of silence. And then the pilot directly above you just goes, Damn it. And sort of, uh, as his turn comes on, uh, all of the jets, uh, being called back to the airbase... Uh, they, uh, fly up, leave the combat zone. Oh, man. Before they go, since I'm in Asher's cockpit, she, mm-hmm. oh, over the comms, you hear another voice click up. Um, <clears throat> nice shooting, by the way. Very impressed. I hope we meet again someday. I'll be <laughs> eagerly awaiting your challenge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pilot you're speaking to in question is the one down here, the one with mm. the three mark. Yep. As uh, she and then I'm just gonna move them off since they're uh, withdrawing here, and there's just one tank left. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, oh yeah, and also uh, as you're at the end of that too is going to be like, next time we meet, bring a real vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, so uh, instead, um, that's dead. Hang on. Uh, yeah, the tank will be the one that goes instead since they're withdrawing. Uh, the tank backs up, hearing the, uh, the new orders, it, uh, just sort of backs up this way, and, uh, boosts back this way as well, and, uh, I'd say, I would call combat, except there is a combatant currently here that has no such thing as morale and a single imperative. It is the turret, and it is not done shooting at you, Asher. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, fair, honestly. <laughs> it turns over, and it locks on, and it fires. It hits. Uh, it does five damage to you, which uh, reduces to three. Reduces to three, and then I'm just going to use my reaction to parry it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how does that work again? Uh, basically, uh, uh, deflect. Uh, reaction, you can, uh, when you're hit by a range attack, I'm just doing this for fucking shits and kills at this point. Uh, you may roll any number of Blade Master dice, expanding them. If you uh, roll on a five plus of these dice, you gain resistance. So yeah, I just going to... Okay, like you get resistance, uh, yeah. D6, uh, if I, if I roll 5+, plus, so... Okay. There we go. Hell yeah! yeah. There you go! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Nice. Wow, so you, uh, reduce to 3, 2, you take 1 damage as you raise <laughs> up your blade and almost catch some of the bullets. Yeah, there we go. This is seeming right. mighty familiar. She whispers an exterior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to go next? Um, what is Farrah's, uh, condition that she has right now? It should be uh, gone. It's it is gone now, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Go oh, kill the turret, me. my dog. Uh, if you kill yeah. if you kill this thing, you kill the turret. Yeah. And oh, I already, it's, it's already taken pretty fucked up. Yeah. 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 Then let me do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm Go gonna throw it. a thermite at it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. All right. You step out, land down, toss that thermite. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to point. Yeah, so you you lay it down, run off, quick action to activate it as you run away. It does an explosion, and you notice the entire uh, thing already lopsided, blown at the foundation. You complete the job as 10 more damage is dealt, doing 20 total, as this thing just collapses down to the ground and basically is destroyed. With that, Eat it. the turret whizzes <laughs> off, and the combat comes to an end as the scorching heat bears down and all you said it you're just sweating for being outside for a couple of moments yeah no she was outside for five seconds and act all acted all cool as gross asher no dignity <laughs> uh, 
you guys start uh, moving out and um, the uh, speaking up, um, you hear Lanbao speak over, uh, hey, DeFour, are you out there? As uh, you both kind of step up, um, almost emerging out, uh, Seti, automatically your bounty system picks up uh, the word mentioned as you see DeFour, ex-leader of Monte Blanc, or Monte Rosa, this Ooh. leader oh. listed at one point to be the second highest bounty on the UEA bounty list, but now was considered <laughs> captured. He steps on out, turning over either way, his mono eye of his mech turning in either direction. Yeah, I'm here. Landbau? Well, I best say, you and Paul have such a wonderful business model. My God, you got me out of here quick. Um, he sort of turns around. Yeah, well, fate just turned out that way. Well, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to make my way back myself. Got plenty of fuel on this thing. Um... I'm pretty sure I already know your answer to this, uh, Jay, because of everything that's happened and all that stuff and how you made an agreement. Uh, He moves to boosts. Uh, You're not going to attack him, are you? (laughs) (laughs) You watch, you watch Seti's eye twitch over that way. And uh, Asher, you feel, you feel Seti say something next to you. It's like, hey, (laughs) Mm -hmm. you think it makes me a monster if I enjoy this? Enjoy what? Hmm. She motions over to the jet. Uh, points over to a wrecked mech, blood still dripping from the knives. Well, I think it makes you more human than any of us. <laughs> she reaches one hand towards the, the controls for a moment, pats you on the back, and then leans back in the cockpit. <laughs> well, someday my knives will reach a guy like that, but for now, I'll content myself. With the bird of prey, she stretches herself in the cockpit like uh, a cat. <laughs> God. Um, <clears throat> with that, uh, you prepare to go as you notice um, as uh, <laughs> this thing starts turning around, the tank turns around and begins to leave. Um, and as you go, uh, you notice that the man goes up, now hold on, dog. And he raises up a weapon and he waits. And you notice that there's a bit of an artillery cannon almost in place instead of a left arm. He holds it and as he goes, he f- prepares to fire. As mm-hmm. oh. the enemy begins to pull away, he raises up, locks on, and in that moment, let me see, <gasps> uh, fires out, which does nine damage instead, and you hear an explosion rocking in the distance as he sort hey, of turns yo. around. Well, catch you later. Um, and he kind of turns over. Oh, oh there's you. A... Oh, uh-huh. yeah. There's a oh, Mars yeah. man in his direction. Uh-huh. <laughs> he sees that and sees you start approaching. Uh, all right. Uh, now it is your turn, I think. So, uh, it's fine. I, I don't, I don't plan on fighting this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. He sees I just you want to have a friendly conversation. Yeah. Uh, he sees you approaching at max speed and, uh, you notice a sudden sh- a swap as the artillery piece, uh, reverses around. And uh, as a reaction, a uh, explosive rifle shifts to the front as he turns, but he doesn't fire at you yet. Just like, oh, moving rather quick there, friend. What he was sort of that? directly across you. Um, he sort of uh, looks back then. Oh, that? That was just a little payback. Don't mind it much. Next time, when I work my ass off to free you from a place like this, you don't get to make the shots like that, Okay. Those yeah. men fought to keep you here. You didn't fight shit to get out. Mm, he kind of uh, sort of measures you. You see the uh, singular eye kind of staring directly across at you. Um, as he said, uh, he sort of just considers that for a moment. Well, you bring up a good point. It wasn't for fighting here. That's old blood I'm spilling. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. And thank you, dearly. Keep the, spilling uh, blood like that and you'll drown, boy. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. Um, he shifts over and uh, he sort of just starts moving off, uh, moving out into the desert. As you do, 
You're sort of left there standing in an empty prison station as prisoners begin to rush out and forward. More of them get in the mechs, others don't, as uh, you notice more people starting to emerge out from these abattoirs. And let me conclude combat real fast. <laughs> that oh. was fucking great. That was yeah. so good. Jesus uh, Christ. Oh my god. Uh, Don't worry, guys. I'm on the point. Stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alt win condition, you're standing there as, uh, yeah. Um, what point? Ferris says, digging through a loot box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just start looking for loot. Yeah, you all basically assemble. Um, as you go over, this is the primary main station. Um, so really quick, um, if you all want to do some RP really fast, I'm going to uh, be Ooh, right God. So uh, <laughs> as things wind down, just uh, tell me what you guys, uh, figure out what you guys do. Yeah. Ferret, Ferret, Ferret. Private comes over to Ferret. Keep an eye on him. Make sure that, the, make, make sure he doesn't die, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, fucking just overhead, like the fucking <laughs> balloon comes in, and like the spotlights uh, and the fucking wind picking up, and just like <laughs> medical station coming in. The store starts lowering down and opening the hatch. <laughs> oh. So uh, Grant uh, turns. Oh, you mm-hmm. go to first. No, no, no. You, 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 you. Grant turns to Sam. Do you think he made it out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, oh, Chris, Chris is Never mind, you go. Okay. I was going to talk to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot move myself, so. <laughs> right. hmm. Is everyone okay? It seems like everyone's okay. okay. Yeah. That was fun. We should do Better it more often. Okay. Any other prisons on the map? <laughs> <laughs> Only on the snowy side. And I thought oh, you two yeah. were about to get smoked. <laughs> I'm sure spoiler would have been fine. Yeah, I would have been fine. Jeez. Yeah, funny. That, yeah. that was cool as shit, but uh don't use names. <laughs> There's hey, like uh, a million of them. Uh, like, yeah. They're not on our that comms, cool but it's just like no. just in general, just like, don't please. Come on, nameless supernova. What do you what do you want to be? Looking over at spoiler. What are what are these? What they're co- they're code names. Come on. Spoiler's not my name. It's recognizable. It's the name you use with the company. Come on, we gotta Spoiler. use a cover name. It's your name uh, because that's oh, what okay. you use as default. I get to pick it then. Yeah. Uh, big tits. Okay. <laughs> no <laughs> hesitation. <laughs> except <laughs> I've seen bigger. <laughs> <laughs> she takes. She's struck by this. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you notice Grant is pointing at his own chest. <laughs> he spec differently. Um, hey, that's... you're the one with the robot parts. You could have gotten bigger ones. Uh, but just been an affront. What? What's what's your name again? Bronco. Oh, that's uh, that's stepdaddy. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Is stepdaddy a code name or what? Uh, she's she's just started ways. calling I'm me that. Calling him that. Uh, okay, stepdaddy. Uh, no. Gr- Grant is fine. Miss. Okay, Grant, it is. We're using names. And you're gonna, <laughs> say, you're gonna say something to Sam? Uh, I, yeah. Before uh, he moved over there, Sam, okay. do you think he made it out? Who? Christian, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, not before probably with the other guy, right? Yeah. Uh, he has to say. Oh man, sure hope so. Good dude. You guy know, with the, guy with a spirit like that doesn't go down easy. He kind of looks over to the building. I mean, maybe he's in there right now. He probably could make his way out pretty quick. You do notice some rioters had gone inside the building. Want to go take a peek? Let's take a look. They kind of step off and um, disembarking. Uh, that's when uh, popping out, you see. Um, uh sam and uh uh for a moment at least you see them pop out before they run on inside um looks like the prison raid's almost done (laughs) this is the main control building um uh did you want to talk to the man now seti oh yeah absolutely um so uh seti's like okay first conference um yeah i want to talk to this guy i want to make sure he gets out of here okay how do we go about that hey let him go I, 
we can't just let him go. If we let him go, he'll be probably be killed. We can we like run him over to some place with people in our burner mechs before disposing of them? Running him over would definitely kill him. <laughs> Fly, well, fly him. We oh, you got a thing for this guy. We probably have to return the <laughs> Maybe, the wreckage know. over back to where we got them back at the orchard. So we could mm. always go over to the orchard, which is probably near some sort of sign of civilization, and deposit them there. Just don't okay. say names. Don't let don't them see. Okay, everything okay. will be fine. Then in that case, I'm counting on you guys. I've been I've been doing you all service except for you, Doc. I still owe you one. She points up at you. <laughs> You guys, give me a code name. Come on, I've been giving you them all day. I Something. thought, I thought yours was fish balls, ma'am. <laughs> uh, fish balls is the one that I use with Twilight Mercenary Company. It has the same issue as Spoiler. Okay. Hey, don't say names. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're on private comms. Come on, code name now. <laughs> God, you're putting me on the spot. Uh, I'm not <laughs> desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. She folds her arms. I'll take it. <laughs> Actually, no. I want to hear no, one no, from no. Asher. <laughs> oh, but desperado. I'm not a cow. That's I'm... Spanish for desperate. Uh, of course. <laughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me with one. Uh, I gave you a good one. Uh, he's thinking really hard. Um, Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I imagine Sunny's still in the cockpit next to him. She she actually sort of smiles. She's just like, okay, well, in that case, we got to think of one for Duck. How about um uh hmm, hmm. orbit? That's really good oh. for Duck. <laughs> <laughs> How she starts shaking you? How are you so good at naming Duck, but you can't think of one for me? <laughs> The Babbage is as big as a planet, so it would have an orbit, and it sort of floats up there. I... <laughs> well, I was flying around at a tiny thing that was like a, like a, like a, like a bug. I don't yep. think you want to be named like after a... a bug. Why not <laughs> flying fish? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. She's I like... not being there. Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> quiet, and she's like, this is really hard, you guys. Spirit. Uh, what was that? Spirit. Oh, I love it! <laughs> Slams the comms! <laughs> hey. <laughs> the comms you, uh, ring out. Yeah, you uh, you ring out through the comms. Spoiler's been uh, talking to him since you've been this entire time you've been arguing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, spoiler, let's do you really quick. Oh, yeah, you yeah, kind of course. walk over as the guy's uh, kind of ducked underneath the wing of the jet, providing him its last bit of support to him through from the sun instead of from bullets. As he sort of turns on over and sees you, he just kind of raises up a hand and just kind of nods at you. Good spirits for like almost dying or whatever. He kind of uh, checks out as he just sort of looks up. Um, you notice there's a lot of um, uh, clouds just sort of floating above uh, now. Clouds that are probably a bit darker and more foreboding drifting over, but all the same, it kind of darts the sky and provides occasional bits of. Um, uh, coveries is just like I'm consigned to my fate. <laughs> Seems what, what's your hold on? What's your fate? Like you have a soothsayer or something? <laughs> well, no. I just mean I'm going to be captured, aren't I? No, probably not. I think uh, Treetop over there likes you, so kind of probably going to try and make sure you're okay. I guess it depends on where you want to go. He sort of turns his head up as he just like has seen the jets going down and all that stuff. Um, well, they'll get on me if I don't go back to a recruiting facility. So he kind of strokes his chin a little bit. Um, but what if you don't want to? He kind of turns on over as he sort of looks at you a bit and he's like, <laughs> well, I don't really like this thing from the beginning, but. I've got to do what I have to do. I can't be running away anymore. So I mean, let's say you got shot down and died. He kind of thinks about that, and he's just like, no, no. I'm not talking about someone forcing me to be out there. I'm talking about what I myself need to do. So just plot me back off at some kind of station somewhere, and I'll take care of it. Wow. You notice him. He's, he's pretty... It's pretty bulky. He's not particularly tall, but he's almost makes up for it by being wide. Yeah, she's like poking him. 
Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Very honorable. I'll make sure that they don't kill you. <laughs> well, thank you very much, miss. <laughs> There's a chime over the comms as Seti finally comes in and is like, a, Hey! <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Right, nice flying back there. We've got a plan for you. Uh, we're gonna drop you off back somewhere. That good? He kind of, uh, uh, he's looking, uh, you're, are you yelling over the Mars, like, outer Oh, camp, yeah, right? over, over yeah, the, yeah. over the speakers. You see a thumb pop up over the, um, uh, plane's wing. He sort awesome. of leans back in the dark and stares up at the clouds floating by. All right. <laughs> she... She sort of, like, chimes in again, like, if you don't mind, probably gonna keep that plane of yours. Is that okay? You want it, after all. <laughs> What's left of it? I love <laughs> <laughs> well, fair deal. One of your squad mates was really impressive. Took down my thing. I'd offer it, but, you know. <laughs> he kind of checks over at it. No, wings are for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> She like as laughs. impressive as your flying was, he kind of yells on over. Uh, he, yeah, I picked up his voice because you are technically still in the mech and you're yeah. trying to pick up sound. As impressive as your flying was, <laughs> I still couldn't live without wings. <laughs> well, there's a certain joy to being catapulted forward at high speeds. You can really feel it. Every single drop of speed coursing through the machine. Nothing quite like it, but I guess... I'm not an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> I just think the sky looks real pretty. Huh. You're about he to sort of... you're about to feel it for yourself. Uh, you yeah. <laughs> yeah, reach down and grab him. You put your hand down and he kind of like gets on and you just yeah he's sort of yeah held with. Sorry, you're not getting in any of our cockpits. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be fucking stupid. Oh, God. Yeah. God. What's your name? Um, yeah, uh, uh, Bayami. Bayami. Uh, yeah, uh, Tan. Diane Tan. <laughs> nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I gotta use a code name, but I'm gonna go with, uh, <clears throat> uh, Spirit, the ghost of the battlefield. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 I didn't say Dude, that. Dude, you were really cool earlier. Just put it while you're ahead. Oh, God. I apologize. Yo, I swear to God, you're an enabler. <laughs> I apologize for my squad roasting me. Uh, please take my name very seriously. <laughs> yes. Uh, Asher's going to just stick his spear in the ground. Well, if you're satisfied with those toy wings of yours, fly again. Come at us. It'll end up the same if we meet on the battlefield until you get something real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come uh, at us. Yeah. No, please yeah. come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can, uh, you can leave. Right. Listen. Yeah, you don't, doesn't even know who we are. Yeah, what is, what is wrong? What, you guys are stupid. Spirit, right. the ghost of the battlefield. I, big tit over there. Literally. Uh, yeah. Clear comms. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> literally, I told him. If he comes uh, back at me, all I have to go is spirit goes to the battlefield and he'll be like, oh, I know who that is. <laughs> Sunny, I just, figured it out, guys. Just because you're not using my, it, since you're using my comms, doesn't mean you can say it in my ear, please. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, listen, listen. It sounds dorky, but tell me that he won't. He'll never forget that for the rest of his life. Yeah. I got no, it. Shit, you're gonna forget ass. that. Let's never talk to this guy again. <laughs> you're a That's funny you. bunch. Yes. All right. Next. You start moving off um, and uh, getting him as you. Uh, next is inside, right? Uh, what? Are you guys going inside, or are you just gonna stay out and just bail immediately? Yeah, we should probably meet with the. Uh, I was I was the... just gonna address everyone inside my mm -hmm. mech yeah. using speakers and stuff, you know, because I'm, uh -huh. I'm not getting out. Yeah. All right. So. Um, Bye. Yeah. Uh, it seems that a lot of the uh, arbiters are moving out. Is just like, where the hell are they? Um, some of them move over and start uh, preparing to smash up those APCs, just taking out a bunch of anger on these things. Don't smash the APCs, you can use them. What? Why the hell do we want to stick around here? Um, as you sort of turn around, they're caught up in the moment. They don't understand the situation they're in, Asher. Yes. All right. I know what it's like to be behind bars. Uh, metaphorical Every bars. Every time you see a vehicle, you want to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Driving out there free in the wind. 
I, I guess I can try talking to them if there's anyone else who wants to speak. I he looks at who he's with. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, right. Okay. No. Gosh. <laughs> she she strings herself up. She's like, really, really? I can, I, I can actually handle this. No, trust me, guys. I walked among them for nearly a week. I'm one of them. <laughs> Uh, okay. If it goes bad, I'll help. Hello. They kind of turn, uh, one of them just kind of speaks up. Hey, is that that new girl? Looks yeah, like that's it. me. Remember me? You hear a voice call out. It's one of the, that older lady inside the prison who got gotten one herself. She's just like, ha! She kind of checks over there as she looks. What's next? Looks like your friends cleared us out. Why? So, you guys have been in prison for a long time, I'm sure, right? They all kind of like, just like, yeah, and now we're out. Yeah, uh, the world's changed a little bit since last time you were out. You guys, you guys surely know about like the aliens and stuff. The, the glassing, all that jazz. Yeah, uh, aliens, yeah, what glassing? Yeah, they like blew up half the planet. No big deal. Like, I'm still alive, so you don't have to worry. Not, not half the planet. Ongrist is <laughs> gone. I, I'm not doing math. Uh, make me a charm roll. <laughs> okay. Um, there it is. Ooh, yeah! Wow. Yeah! Uh, one of them cracks a joke. Another one goes silent. Others still look across, but they still have your attention. Um, as the lady kind of speaks up again. Oh, so it's really bad, huh? Yeah, super bad. So, the whole idea by coming in here and freeing this prison and stopping you from having to, like, go and waste your life for some super corp or whatever. The idea was to set you guys free so that you, you could set up camp here. Because it's probably the only place you can go. There's a desert for miles. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. This place is still our fucking prison at the end of the day, isn't it? I mean, no, yeah. It wasn't your prison before, but now it is. It's yours. Uh, Whoa, bars. <laughs> uh, they gotta think about that. Well, I got a lot of folks I want to lock up. Um, <laughs> they uh, stop wrecking the APCs and kind of look over and they kind of scan around the area. Uh, meanwhile, on the inside, there's a bit of a struggle beginning as multiple people are uh, sort of fighting and moving around. A tussle of security guards are being pushed back as prisoners have moved on in. The fighting has gotten very fierce on the end. Punches are being thrown and people are being bashed against the walls over and over again. It's a deadly affair, but two folks run on inside and clearing the way um you're not looking for any one person in particular um but instead you and sam move into the prison control room as you both kind of move on inside there moving off the ramp near the bottom as uh both you kind of step on up as there's a fight going on and uh, you noticed immediately a bunch of passed out, bloodied people of all sides are there. There's sort of like a sort of a rush of people pushing back against these, moving up to the control tower itself. Um, Duck, you are hacked into the security cameras here, and you're starting to take a look at everything going down as it happens. As uh, Sam kind of moves over to the side, picks up an extra baton, and you pull out yours again, Grant. It's just like, all right, back in it, huh? Do uh, we really need to be part of this again? The adrenaline starts to fall down as Sam just kind of stops and he's just like, huh, no, no, I guess we don't. He just kind of whaps away the baton in one direction. Damn, I get real focused when this stuff starts popping out, you know? Yeah, we, we don't got to be part of this prison gang anymore. We can go where we want. That's true. He sort of stares across looking and he kind of puts a hand, scratches his head and then, uh, do you see the guards starting to fall back as they start uh, moving away, beginning to get overrun as they all head back and uh, move into a side room 
uh, each one of them falling back in that direction as they are given chase, as you're just sort of left here for a moment, as uh, you are kind of just left with that question. Huh, what next? They all depart. And as these guys kind of go to give chase, suddenly the doors lock down. Everything shuts off, and then there's sort of a, a beep and a hiss, and that's it. Until you notice over here a sort of the window here starts to shift as the panel opens up, sort of bringing itself out as um, uh, one man climbs on top, stepping through the window itself. A large man, larger than many others here, coming in around 5'9", he imposes over, standing on the platform itself, his eyes looking across at every direction. Dressed in his own garb, he stands down. As everyone looks, they see him and they cheer, for the Badahatva has arrived. Oh. He stares what? down, oh. looking at everyone <laughs> present, and... He sort of just moves over to the side and then hops off with the landing. The extra gravity is still weird for him. He sort of lands, shakes steadily, and moves up as he looks across the way and everyone kind of looks at him too. He checks around in every direction as he gazes at you two as well. And he reaches into his pack and he pulls out a little cylindrical device which he raises up to his mouth. He speaks in a language no one understands, but the device allows him to speak with everyone. It is the translation for his words to the language of people. Thousands, thousands of millennia, or thousands and thousands of years in the future. He calls out to everyone. We have taken the facility. I have locked away those inside of that side room, along with many other spots. With this act, we have taken this prison to ourselves and we once again strike. He sort of turns around to everyone who starts paying attention to him as he sort of takes one step forward again. And he sort of stops. The imposing energy stops for a moment as, almost interrupted, he walks up to this man in particular and he just sort of raises up and he asks a simple question. What would you like? <laughs> the man has sort of stopped for a moment as he's just like, uh, wh what? What would you like? You have been in here for a long time. Um, he sort of just stops. He's like, oh, I mean, Mikhail, you have been eating rations, fixing machinery, and exposing yourself to the sun for ten years in this place. What do you want more than anything? He sort of stops. A good bed, and uh, I want to go home. He kind of stops as he turns over. And he addresses everyone again, looking a bit sullen, but still as serious as he always does. As he speaks out a single phrase, one that resonates with you, Duck. There is never going home. We are alone here. He kind of checks around in every direction. All of us. Every word he says, lagging behind another phrase spoken with just a similar amount of sincerity and severity to it. We are striking once again. This break, this prison break, you remember what happened two years ago? How they responded? He sort of looks across as everyone just sort of ducks their heads down again. There is no one going home anymore. Our families, we may not return to them, but the moment we leave this place, we will no longer be free. We return to the lands and we will find our way to another prison once again. He sort of uh, turns over. Grant! As you see stepping up, the Bodhisattva, as he's known by everyone. Uh, also, as Sam calls him, Future Man. Though, that's sort of a play on the situation. He's not from the future at all. In fact, he's from Earth One, thousands and thousands of years ago. Woken up from a pod, shoved off to Earth Three. This man is an ancient ancestor. And despite everything, he's even freakier than you could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of looks over, walks up, and he sort of claps you on the arm since you're way bigger than him. Do you know anything about the people that came down? I, I can't say for sure, but 
from my brief time with them, I can... Well, actually, wait, which ones are you talking about? He pauses for a moment. The ones I'm in not... the jets or the ones who, who helped us out? He kind of blinks. The ones in the jets? I wasn't aware of that. All well, I knew was there were some other people that came to get us out, right? Yeah. That's what everyone's saying. I'm gonna saying. quietly pass this trans uh, transmission to my friends and their mechs. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. As oh. you guys are finished talking, you all start seeing this shit playing out. Well... I can't say I know them well, given as we just met them, what, a few hours ago? But I can I can tell in my gut that they're good people. He sort of thinks, where are they? I believe they're outside. One of the uh, the pilots from the jets I was telling you about crashed down, so they're, I, I assume, they're figuring out what to do with him. He sort of blinks, and then uh, he sort of just turns around very nonchalantly. Um, as he sees everyone present there. All of you, take what you can. Make your way to the printing center. Make what you want for yourselves. These resources are ours now. Who knows what tomorrow holds for us, or the week after, or the month after. But for now, we feast, we eat, and I will see you all at the kitchen later. He turns around, pats you on the shoulder. I have some people to talk to now. Would you like to come with me? Absolutely. Sam kind of looks both ways. Oh, man. All right, let's go. You all start heading out as... Um, oh, whoopsie, whoopsie. As he clones himself. As he clones himself. <laughs> <laughs> using myself. ancient Earth-1 <laughs> magic, he clones himself. Um, and uh, you all uh, look as... Uh, just about the time, timeline-wise, Duck were to um, uh, give you this information, uh, the transmission starts, and... You almost see the mirror of the man step out and look across at all the different mechs assembled in front of him as uh, he walks out with you uh, and him and Sam and he looks around. Um, the sun blaring in his face, he kind of raises up his arm and turns over and the first mech he sees is the, the Mars in front of him as he shifts over his head and looks and raises up this cylindrical device. You there! Yes. Thank you. You have made a friend today. <laughs> Uh, the the knight just kind of like bows, like Mars unit bar- bows a little bit. It seems uh, like sort of you're a good friend yeah. to make. He kind of uh turns around in a uh, different direction, kind of like looks around at everyone here, and um, he kind of uh, yeah, he just sort of makes uh to looking at everyone in present, and he just like, are we free to go? You're free to do whatever you want. He sort of nods his head. I don't know who you are. However, he uh, kind of just checks across the way. We must thank you for what has been done today. He uh, kind of turns back around and ever so subtly as he came, he just walks back inside. (laughs) Maybe we should let him know who we are so that we can do business later. Hmm... Uh, uh, I mean, oh, they let him keep his oh. hat in prison. He must be pretty important. Oh, yeah, that guy's oh. sick. Hold on, hold on. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't say our names here and now. It'll get out. Why don't we bring one of them with us? Oh, I know, know which one. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, step on up and you see uh, Grant and uh, Sam standing over there for a bit. Uh, stepdaddy, you're coming with us. <laughs> what makes you're not you a, say that? You're not, a, you're not a prisoner or anything. Uh, we just, uh... Um... You want some... We got air hockey. <laughs> Obviously, we're doing this under... She's speaking over the, uh, the, the Mars, like, loudspeaker. Obviously, we're doing this under heavy cover, so we need to be very, very careful about who knows who we are, when, and where. So, we were thinking... Why not have a go-between? Hmm. Can you keep a secret? Well, of course. But you can even bring trash bag over there. I don't care. <laughs> 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 well, Sam, what do you say? Sam kind of thinks for a bit. He sort of looks across. You notice he's like looking over at up at you there, Asher. And he's just kind of like, huh. 
Well, yeah, sure, why not? Kind of turns down at you guys. They've got some pretty scary mechs, so <laughs> I'm sure I could get back to my old business. Oh, I'm sure you'll fit in just fine, and I would like a crack at something less mass-produced. <laughs> sort of like shrugs. All right, new job for us, buddy. Sounds good. Okay. Hey, uh, by the way, Flyfisher, whatever your name is, the tall one, smooth flying up there. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, Bronco. That was some pretty impressive shooting. After I got shot down, all I had was the comms. I was listening to you take pot shots like a radio play. Are you a natural? Like, at how many times have you piloted? But she just starts blah, 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 <laughs> until uh -huh. physically removed from the comms by Asher. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can have plenty of time to talk to this person if they come with us, Seti. Okay? <sighs> Fine. Can I can I control one of the arms a sec? Uh, sure. She does her little salute. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, time to go, right? Feel free to board the medical bay. <laughs> uh, tell, tell, the, tell the man with the hat that you're coming with us, and that we'll be in touch. Oh. Of course. Uh, be right back. He yeah. he runs in and tells. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna actually. I'm do man. That. Oh yeah, I'm yeah okay. Do that really quick as you go. Cool. Uh, yeah. So um, uh, Grant, you run back inside, as um, you notice the man before you looks across, as uh, he's been helping everyone, talking to them. Everyone's been kind of. It seems like the high has come down as he's almost given a speech, or in the middle of giving a speech get everyone back down the way and uh he sort of stops as he sees you come in and then he kind of do you interrupt it or do you let him finish i let him finish all right um as he kind of turns around in speech you don't really know how it started but you know how it ends as he speaks up again when we went before when we went to them and asked with hands out given begging the best we can for breaks for money compensation anything for what we had done they returned with gunfire. Now, we return with our own. <laughs> this will be our home until it is taken from us or until we may find another. Thank you all. If anyone wishes to leave, they may do so. I will not hold you here. He stops, turns around. Grant. Yes, sir. Uh, speaking of, I think it's time I take my leave. He kind of blinks. Oh, really? Well. I did just, my friend, I did just say that anyone can leave, but oh, I was, I was hoping to use your expertise. <laughs> ah, well. He kind of goes over and he gives you a hug. Oh, oh <laughs> my friend, please, uh, take something with you if you must. Uh, I could, anything you want, take it with you. Uh, take, just, take, take some of those weapon crates. Why not? Just one. We'll need the others. <laughs> oh. Well, if you're sure, you, you'll be safe without, right? Oh, please, right? please. I'd want to make you a meal too, but I can't. No time. Uh, he well, just... I'll, I'll hold you to. I'll take a rain check on that one. That just means we'll have to meet up again <laughs> soon. He gets a little laugh. It's been a pleasure. Of Where are you going? Well, I'm going back with the uh, the folks who got who freed us. I figure one of us has to pay back the debt. He kind of nods. Then I'll put that on you if you don't mind. Not at all. Dumpster and I will be. We'll take good care of them, and hopefully, it means we got allies in the future. Let them know that the... It stops a bit. The translator, he was saying a name. A name where many different things uh, lack certain meaning. And this one, it takes a second to catch up. Because it's an animal that's gone extinct. And so eventually, the translator picks up on it and adds it again and repeats the sentence long after he's uh, finished it as he sort of waits for the thing to speak up again. Let them know that the lion sends his regards. <laughs> Grant puts his hand on the man's shoulders and nods. That we will. With that, oh, and uh, mm -hmm. looking forward to our next match as well. I'll beat you one of these days. <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> Good You're luck right, out there. can dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that, the man from time, the lion, returns to his duties. As with this... The battle for Anuessa Penitentiary is done. The pilots fly back, preparing to resortie as soon as they can. 
The prisoners, some filled with bloodlust, others filled with nothing but despair, and others still hopeful under a new leader. And the mysterious knights that swooped in, destroyed everything in their path, and left before even an hour had passed. All of them gone to continue their duties in the Oculus. Yeah! yeah Let's go. fucking go! Oh, man. Good job, dude. That was so... F I, dude, I love that guy so fucking... That guy's... Oh, so <laughs> yeah, so I was so scared. I was, like, so scared. I was like, some guy, some, like, asshole's gonna become the leader, but no. That guy, no. I'm like, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is assume... everything we could have hoped for. Yeah. <laughs> I assume the contest between him and Grant is, like, Turkish oil wrestling or something. <laughs> Probably. God. Yeah, I, essentially I, stuff like that. God, I, I fucking just cannot... Uh, Express how fucking dope that was. Jay, <laughs> yeah, Jay, that, was so fucking that cool. shit yeah. on the jet. Oh yeah, my that god, was, that was so uh, awesome. Yeah. I, I'm Bro. like, can I do it? I don't care. Fuck it to the Bro. wind. In that character. direct hit, everything. Oh. You fucking proved who was the better ace that day. And then I got yeah. shot, and now I'm a little in love with that other pilot. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Uh, uh, no, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, the 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 girl who got me said he is a little bit of a crush. Oh. <laughs> also, God. Carl, thank you. I'm changing my call sign. Yeah, there you go. It's evolving. Oh, I got the spirit. <laughs> no, I got fly fish now. <laughs> we leveled up, baby. <laughs> yeah, I. But uh, what we do have right now is uh, we do have fan art and stuff. Oh, do so, we? Uh, oh. first off. Yeah. Uh, from, uh, from, uh, let me fix the chat. There we go, because I got all the chats and stuff fixed. Um, <laughs> first off, from BHP Myth, uh, Clippy. Corporate espionage, Clippy. <laughs> Looks oh, like you're God. planning corporate espionage. Would you like some help with that? Yeah. <laughs> We're hiring. Oh, God. God. By the way, uh, Jazz did the art for, uh, Arcachan. Uh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. So I've been wonderful. waiting. I was yeah. supposed to pull Arcachan out earlier, but forgot. Yeah. I love I love them so much. Uh, and then oh god, I forgot he was in this <laughs> session. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh man. Oh, I miss him every day. Yeah, and then best breakout ever, Dean <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, from BHP with and then more. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You Absolutely. got it. Going in. Active <laughs> Sky Voice. <laughs> <laughs> God. I need bottles. Nine bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's so great. Spider Duck is very cute. Uh, uh, and then we have. Uh, we have no names, man. No names. We are nameless. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. And then, uh, VGP would you like to shake hands? <laughs> Cypher Claw. <laughs> Cypher Claw, god damn it! It's so funny because the real Cypher Claw showed up like a few hours later. Oh, yeah. fucking damn it. God. Then attack the planet, yeah. <laughs> gun must be defective. This gun what? must be defective. What? Have you been left out handed all this time? <laughs> Never fear, I is here. Yeah, dude. Duck oh, fucking man. just a menace oh. the entire time. Oh, oh shit! So oh shit! Oh, so oh, so so <laughs> oh my god! It's oh my god. god. The skill. Oh. The oh, that's incredible. Oh, incredible. It on that freak. <laughs> <laughs> Zero octopus, yeah, the mark. Yeah. yeah. Codename Spirit <laughs> temporarily. Temporary. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Give it a second to load. Uh, let me let me check if I can open it in the from the fucking. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rocco and riding Baby Blue free. riding, riding free. free. That's uh, lovely. That's it. Good fucking job. I'd like man. to uh, thank you all who uh, came in uh, yeah. to watch. Uh, yeah. Good, good Seriously, job. Good work. Uh, yeah. Thanks all the players work, for being gang. awesome. And also, Christian, yeah. good job on running this fucking good amazing fucking ass show. Yeah. 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 This was yeah. fucking yeah. awesome. Thank you if, so much, guys. If you want to talk about the show with other fans who also want to talk about the show, uh, check out our Discord where you can find all the channels for this show and also the other shows we do. Uh, if you want to support the show with money, uh, make sure to check out Christian's Patreon, which you can see the link on the screen right now, Christian Civet, and you'll also find it in the YouTube description. Uh, and yeah, uh, make sure to just follow if you're watching on Twitch, and then subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. 
it really helps us out a lot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Give the that money. Fucking yeah. so sick. Good work, that was everyone. Amazing. Holy right. shit. So uh, yeah, say goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Stay healthy. Yeah.